I'm guts. sorry. Drop them! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have the guts to wear my dress and even you wear my hair. Do you know what? What is this? This is 40 is bro straight. One million. Are you mad? I'm sorry. Shut I, up! I, I, Shut, what? Shut up! I died! You fool! I died! You should die already! Die! Can you imagine? I died! I died! I died! You want my dress? How dare you! It's your gut for me! You are so stupid! You are, you are crazy! You stink! Stupid thing! You got to fool! Man! Man! I died! Come on, burn this thing! Burn them! I died! Your Majesties, you sent for me. Yes, you sent for Thank you. Ah. So, the future of Shalosha Kingdom rests on your shoulders, and getting ready is the key. Son, uh, you know your father is right. You have been engaged for six months now to noble chief's daughter, that is Mildred. And you're not making any move to consolidate the union. I mean, taking it to the next level. I understand your concerns. And uh, marriage for me is serious business. And I would like to take my time. So, I would like you to know that to decide for your marriage is only for the commoners. As a prince, you are bound by tradition. And as a king and your father I proceed over your marriage, the time is near, so you must be prepared. Son, it's not a matter of convenience. But responsibility. They finally had that talk with me yesterday. Oh. I'm glad they finally had it off their chest. I mean, they've been hoping that you make a move, but instead you got someone's daughter engaged and you don't look like you want to marry her. Whose side are you on? Don't forget, you are an heir like me and is expected to get married too. I agree, but unlike you. I did not agree to a loveless marriage alliance with no intention of being married. Listen, that girl probably had a lot of suitors coming for her in marriage, but she stuck with you, who has no intention of being married. You've been engaged to this girl for six months. Come on. Mildred is a very beautiful girl. I like her very much and I'm sure I will grow to love her. From where I stand, that is a good thing. But I want to go on an adventure. I want to see places I believe never existed. Because marriage is going to cut off my adventure wings. You see, I think you've forgotten that um, our fate is decided by the gods and our choices decided by the king and our desires decided by the people we rule. Can't you see that from the moment we were born, we are not allowed to like or want things that are not in accordance with the people we represent? I'll take my chances. I need to go on an adventure. 
I know Mildred will understand because doing what I want, when I want, makes me a happy husband. So, cheers to my new adventure. Go to my bedroom and get me that fashion medicine. All right, you want to speak? Here comes my precious son, the prince of Tabitha Kingdom. <laughs> the bravest and the finest. Her <laughs> Majesty the Queen, your praises flatter me. Thank you. I have come to speak with both of you. Go on, speak right. further, sir. I have thought long and hard about our last discussion, and I have decided to get married. Wonderful. Oh, this is great news. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> if um, the king will permit me to go on one last adventure before this marriage. Adventure. The type you sometimes disguise as a commoner, visit strange places, taking pictures and all that. As common as it may sound, doing that gives me great joy and satisfaction. And I'll be grateful if you will permit me to derive on one last joy and satisfaction. Then I will close the doors to my adventurous spirit. For I know that getting married will tie me down and keep me focused on family. So, what you're asking for is quite difficult. Last time you went on this bashful adventure, you returned after three months. So how long do you intend to stay? Not for long. Believe me, not for long. No, like specifically, like how long? Mother, I do recognize and accept that I have duties to perform to the king and the people. On one condition, that you go with your guards and uh, you must be a pure leader on princely status, no disguise. As the king pleases. Your majesties, your wishes. Your Majesty, I am sorry I couldn't find the maxim. You're so stupid. Because I specifically said go to the bedside drawer. Your small head didn't tell you to go to the wardrobe to check if since you didn't find it there. Get out, go to the wardrobe. my chicken grilled. Why did you fry it? I am sorry, Your Highness. The last time I grilled the chicken, you said it wasn't nice, so I have to fry Will it. Will you shut up? Shut your trash! Who gave me the boss to speak when I'm speaking? Are you mad? Get out! Shush, get out! So what? Famous fools! Idiot! Useless, crazy things, animals, commoners. Useless things, mad people. Your Highness. I see that my princess is difficult to please. Will I be able to satisfy her needs? Your Highness? Why would you speak like that? You are the future king. You can want and get anything and everything you so desire. 
You know, it excites me to know that you consider me privileged. I see you're enjoying royalty, bossing the maids and guards around, making them jump and lose control at the sound of your voice. Your Highness, I'm just the daughter of a noble chief. The benevolence of the king and queen gave me the privilege to be respected in royalty. We should do this more often. When was the last time we had a chat like this? We should do this often. After all, we are to be man and wife soon. Of course, Your Highness. I shall make myself available to please Your Highness. And don't you find it pleasing that I want to spend enough time with you? Your Highness, my wants and needs are inconsequential as long as my prince is concerned. You know, I am very impressed with your response. You will make a fine queen one day. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Of course. Your Majesty, yes. greetings. Please, can I join you? Sure, sit. What troubles you, my child? Your Majesty? Yes. I'm becoming a laughing stock in this kingdom. I've been engaged to the prince for the past six months, yet there are no talks of marriage. Mildred, I'm not a man. Incidentally, I'm not a man. I'm a woman. You are a woman. You know, there, is, there are ways men act. Their behavior is one kind. Your Majesty, I have these questions on my mind. Please permit me to ask. Go ahead. The Prince, does he not love me? Does he have someone who's in love with that he can't talk about his affection? Mildred, I understand your concerns. I know my son. But this one you're thinking about is not the case here. Uh, my son has agreed to get married. And he will do that. After this one last adventure. Your Majesty. How long will this adventure be? Wow. Patience. Faith, your dread, trust. I understand my son has a duty to his father and to the people of this kingdom, which he can afford to keep everyone waiting, including you. So he'll get married to you. Oh, Mildred. Your Highness. You're here. Yeah. I hope there's no problem. Not at all, Your Highness. I just want to speak with you. Sure. Go ahead. Speak freely. Your Highness, 
Are you shying away from marrying me? Or don't you love me? I see you have heard about my adventure. I like you very much. If I didn't, I would have asked for another alliance. Okay, so why are you not eager to get married to me? Because after marriage, my life will be about ruling this kingdom and I'll not be able to do what I love to do. Your Highness, your fate is sealed. And as a prince, what you like or what you want is not an option. I'm aware of that. And that is why I call it Last Adventure. Look, once I get back, we will get married and you will rule beside me. Your Highness, that is so satisfying to hear. Right. And even at that, I don't have the power to stop you. You are the prince. No, 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 no. no. Don't say it like that. Your understanding matters to me as my fiancé. Right. But please, do not be long. And come back to me as soon as possible. I will. You mean the king approved of this adventure? How did you do it? I made a promise to get married as soon as I get back. But the thing is, they want me to move in a princely state. And that is going to ruin the fun. Yeah, of course. It will ruin it. I mean, imagine you moving in a convoy of maids and guards. People will become suspicious of you. Did you agree to that? I had to. What would you have me do? It is considered a grave sin if you disobey the king. Yeah, you would definitely be punished. I mean, disobeying the king and the supreme ruler. Yeah. But I think it's a forgivable sin for a son to disobey the father. What do you think? <laughs> you know, I have always known you as bad influence, but the king and queen refuse to see it. All they do is go about singing praises of how great of a son you are and a prince. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'll let it slide. Because I know it is not you, but the jealousy in you speaking. <laughs> really? Yeah. Me, jealous of you? As you can see. No, I'm not. Let me show you that thing I was telling you. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Have you heard that the prince is planning a trip out of this kingdom? Just when we think that he's going to be marrying the princess consort. I mean, this engagement is becoming the longest. See, huh, I'm not sure the prince even like her. Like, I mean, who would? Who would love such a cruel and wicked person? Shh! Bring your voice down. Someone might hear you. You're talking as if you don't know that the royal marriages has never been about love. Why then are you talking about love? At least there should be likeness. Had even the prince likes her, he will not be looking for every opportunity to run away instead of marrying her. I can see that you now make the business of the royal palace your personal business as jobless fools, right? You stupid twat! Speak so low of me! You tell such grave lies against me, right? I see you. Chief maid! Chief maid! My princess! You called me? Yes, I did. I want to ask you, please. What are you teaching this, this, this dirty pigs, this sweat? What? This. This low life smelling maggot! I have the temerity to talk so low about me. And they tell such crazy lies of me. Right. I see that you are lesbian, right? You are jobless. I will give you a good job to work on. 
Chief Maid, you must punish this sword. This vagabonds, this loose mouse, you must punish them until their hair turns grey. So next time, you will learn how to cut your tongues. Fools, dirty smelling pigs, stupid, stupid vagabonds. What is wrong with you? Why do you look like this? Everyone is so mean. Everyone. Even the mates. They are so mean. What happened? Everyone thinks that your planned adventure is a means to escape a marriage. That you do not love me? Hence, you can't even stand me. So you, you're running away from me. I cannot believe you allowed yourself to be moved by side talks. All this might have been an arranged partnership. Me embarking on this adventure does not mean I'm avoiding you. You can come with me if you want. No. No, Your Highness. Thank you. But I'm not open to traveling. So I, I appreciate your kind gestures and your reassurances. Thank you. And um, I'm sorry for bothering you with my teeth. Go ahead. I know my delay has affected you, but I promise you, I will not keep you waiting for too long. Cheer up. So, sorry, Your Majesty. We lost track of the prince. Your Majesty, what nonsense is this idiot talking about? You lost track of somebody you're supposed to protect? Are you mad? No, 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 Your Majesty. He might have left the palace in disguise to escape us. I'm sorry. He knew that he was going to disobey me, and he agreed to my conditions. Your Majesty, our son. Going out there all by himself without protection or escort. Is that okay? Leave my sight. Everyone! Where is the out of this little idiot's head? Look at this one that cannot even carry her useless body. It's about to fall out. What do we do? This does not make sense at all. This does not make sense. Yes. 
Yes, I wanted to talk to you about the wedding dress, the jewelry, everything. I want to know whether you like that. Your Majesty, I appreciate your benevolence. But if I must say, on a second thought, I feel that um, since the prince and I will be on the matching outfit, that I should wait for him to be back. So we sit back together and then choose the best for us. Oh. You made a valid point. But you know, men don't actually care about what they wear on their wedding days. It is women's obsession. Women are obsessed about their clothing, about their accessories, especially the jewelries, the hair, everything. I know you're not excited about the wedding because your husband to be is away. But I can assure you, we are on top preparation for the wedding. Once he arrives, the wedding takes place. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so kind. You're welcome. Enjoy your drink. The prince is our only child. He's out there. I mean, somewhere very far away, with no guard, no assistance. Honestly, I am so worried about him. The prince will be fine. This is not the first time he's going out on an adventure without his guards. Okay? He's an adult. Majesty. I can't explain it. I just want him to come back. I wish he could come back today. Any word from him? Did he tell you when he's coming back? Not a word yet. Well, he has showed us that he's going to come back soon. We can only pray for his well-being and safe return. What do you need? My son, I want my child. You need your favorite. Get her favorite. So how is my good friend, your father, King Ramon II of Mude the King? My father, the king, is doing fine, your majesty. And he sends his warm regards I see. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. <laughs> I received it in good faith. So, Ramon, did you hear from your best friend? Oh, <clears throat> Your Majesty, apart from coming here to say my greetings, Prince Mike contacted me and asked me to tell His Majesty that he's doing fine where he is. Fine. But did he tell you when he's coming back? No, Your Majesty. He didn't make mention of that. But he said he's doing fine and has found happiness in the land he discovered. Hmm. I see. Sure enough. Ramon, when next he contacts you, tell him his mother is sad and worried. Tell him he should be careful and he should stay out of problem out there. I will do that, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, permit me to take my leave now as I have an important appointment in the neighboring kingdom. Come on, Ramon. I've asked me to bring you a oh. drink and everything. Your Majesty, I appreciate, but maybe next time. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I told you not to worry, our son. It's fine. Let's see. I'm sure I know.
please share with us the experience of the adventure. Not as I expected, Father, but I am back now to fulfill my duties as the prince of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. I am pleased to hear that. Honestly, glad to hear it. And I know Mildred will be happier to hear about this because she will believe that you have come to make things progress. Um, why is nobody asking me who this is? Because we are expecting our son to do the need. Introduction is part of the cut. True. Okay, um, this is Sulusa. I brought her to be one of the maids of this palace. Maids? Yes. No, we don't need any more maids. We have enough already that are attending to us. I am aware, mother, but where I stayed, her mother gave me a roof over my head. And the only one thing she begged of me was to bring her to civilization so she can make some money and send home. I couldn't say no. So you want this one to be, be made here? Yes, ma'am. Uh, in that case, I will talk to the chief maid to get her settled and put her through the duties she will need to be the maid you're talking about. Thank you, your majesties. I will never forget your benevolence. Oh, we are glad to have you in one piece. Thank you. Human? I human or statue? I human beings? Spirits? I does not shake at all. I statue. I check. Woman, oh, Woman, Stati. What do you think you are doing? What are you doing? Cha 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 cha. I surprises. So I, woman. Of course we are. I do not talk to me. I ask. Yeah. Now it's late, like yes, you talk, talk. I ask, you stay. It's coming there, who are you doing? Jump there to me. So this are not Satu, are human too? I test it. It's okay. Hold up, hold up. Stop, hold up. Come here. Drop it down. I said, come here. Ah. I checked a human or a Satu. Listen to me, from this moment, this is what we are expected to wear. The maiden beside you will take you around and show you where you'll be sleeping and things you are expected to do in this palace. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I hear it. Now let's go. Drop it. Come. Drop it. I want to test that. Drop it. Drop. It. Drop. Okay, I have to check with the king and get back to you. I haven't told you yet. A kingdom blessed with riches. Yeah, we're still saying the same thing. Blessed in wealth. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Thank you. <laughs> what is what what is funny? Touches! What touches? Why are you touching me? It touches you! Are you listening to me? 
in your pathetic life. Don't ever come close to me again. Why you shout? It does not move my hand. It is softness. I said, do not come close to me again. You didn't hear me? But you are the only person I know in these places. How can I does not come close to you? Was it my decision to bring you here? You should thank your stars I am not heartless. If not, I would have dumped you in the bush. It was play play I plays. I did not fight you. Do I look like your playmates? Don't ever come close to me. The next time you touch me, I will send you out of this palace. Nonsense. It does not do anything wrong, bro. It does not do anything wrong. Today, I cooks. I cooks you chops. King's chops, majestic chops, anti-fire wickedness chops, everybody chops. I cooks too. <laughs> who, is, who is this one? Come on, just because the prince brought you here doesn't make you an important person. Drop that pot, oh. drop the tomato. I don't know which one I cook, I cook. She is such a bush girl. Just look at her. I wonder the interior bush the prince went to take pictures this time and then return with this, this thing. What I do? No, what I do? See, 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 this place, you insult me, I does not take. I give you respect, I give you respect, you give me respect. I respect you, I respect you, you insult me, I kiss. I kiss. Hey. Did this bush get just threatened us? I told you. I told you. She's wearing a maid uniform like us, yet she feels like a noble because she came with a prince. Did we teach her a lesson? What I thought? Okay, okay. lesson me. No. Hey, does not chop mouth, does not chop mouth. I come to tell you food is ready. I see you chop yourself. Are you mad? How dare you? Is something wrong with you? Um, baby, 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 just ignore her. She thinks. Kissing means feeding from each other's mouth. Your Highness, I would not ignore her. She's a fool to come in here like that. Is this your room? Father's ready. Is this a dining room? I come to information that food ready. Who sent you here? Don't you have cussy? Weren't you trained? Are you mad? Baby, baby, baby. She's not accustomed to her way of living. Okay, just, just leave her. Your Highness, she must be punished. Yes. Really? Yes. She has to know a place here. This is not the forest. Go on your knees. Kneel down! Raise your hands. Close your eyes. And be dead till I say otherwise. Fool. Babe, we were in the middle of something. You wanted to be here? Babe, her eyes are closed. She's looking at us. You say her eyes are closed. She just closed it. I will pluck at your eyes, you fool. Come on, honey. Come, come on, look at me. Chopping, chopping. You see? You see what I'm saying? Huh? Get out. I go. Get out! Okay, I go. Get out! Chopping is gone. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing here? I shine your room. Big madam say I shine your room. Martina! I does not look for you. Room I shine. Martina! My prince. What is she doing here? Oh, sorry. I assigned her to be your personal manager. Assigned her to do what? Reassign this girl. I don't want her to touch anything that has to do with me. Do you understand? You can reassign her to the dogs. Now take her out. I'm sorry. I will reassign her immediately. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's I go. Stop shining. Stop, stop, I stop. Friend, get out, get out. Let's go. Let's go. I go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Please, sorry. Walk sorry. and I go. Si vous le
friends get so angry whenever he sees you. Eh? Who wouldn't get angry at the sight of her? She is so local and uncultured. You are not allowing her to answer the question. Maybe there's a reason the prince hates the maid he brought to the palace. Hmm? What did you do? Or did you try to seduce him? The prince has not made a glance at us for once, even when he's at the liberty to have the maidens for his pleasure. And you think he will consider a trash like you? Or did you make romantic moves on him? Una, yet again, you're not allowing her to answer the question. What did you do? Hmm. So, if I hear the question, you question me. Mm. You ask why Prince hates. Mm. I does not know. Now you know Prince hates. So, ask Prince why hates and tell me why Prince hates. Now I walk. Please go that side though. Chief maid, relax. Ah, ah. Come beyond that. Come on. I want us to talk. I want us to talk about those small, small things that are too small for the queen to notice. Those minute things. I want us to talk about that. She's unusual, Your Majesty. The prince has been very angry with her. He doesn't want her to show up. No, tell me, what, what's unusual? Besides the, the unexpected maid, my son came back with. The prince do not want to see her anymore. You know the prince is powerful, and no one can compel him to do what he does not want to do. I am wondering why he should go and bring somebody to the palace and do not want to see her anymore. Wait, what are you talking about? How can he hate somebody he begged the king and I to receive? How? It surprises me too. That's just it. Maybe she did something terrible to him that made him hate her that much. See, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to put your eyes on the ground. I know that girl is on a mission. I want to know what that mission is. I will just do as you commanded. Don't you fail. Understand. No problem. Don't fail. No problem. Go back to your duties. I'll see you. Thank you. Careful. Are you okay? She perform him, try to perform like that. She's a worshiper of the sun and the moon. She's a strange being that I am curious. But I'm here to know about her and that of her people. Your Majesty, I am not only concerned. But curious, like you rightly said, our son hates her. He cannot stand the sight of the same girl he brought to the palace. What's the reason for the hatred? Well, uh, there's something we do not know yet, but time shall tell. Oh, don't you think we should ask him why he hates someone he cannot stand, the same person he brought to the palace? Or better still, she might have done something wrong to him. That's the reason for the hatred. Well, I've always maintained that our son has some explanations to make. Maybe you'll ask him. That girl is weird. 
Uh, she is going to she walks? Some well, that's rats. She's putting on. She's improving. Stand up. Thanks. Kings, queens, I bring color water, sweet color water, or I bring tea. What you want? Uh, we don't want anything from you. We are just curious. We saw you worshipping the moon last night. Ah, my God. I worship my God. Moon, my place, we worship. Yes. My place, very beautiful. My place, moon, me, like this. Prince, no. My son knows? Uh, what's your spiritual connection in the worship of the moon? I connect moon. Me connect moon. Everybody, my village kingdom connect moon. Moon, our God. We pray moon, moon bring blessing. We pray moon, seek, go. We pray moon, money come. We pray moon, we go, we bring something farm and it's good. I tell you story. One man, my village, they're born here, does not have teeth. Man cannot chop corn, man cannot chop meat, man cannot chop yam. One day, full moon, come. Man, come. Man, pray moon. Man, pray moon. Sukun tankwa 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 sukun tankwa tankwa. Man, pray moon, moon, answer man. Man, have teeth. Man, happy. <laughs> now, man, chop yam, man, chop corn, man, chop. It's okay. What is wrong with you? What I do? You use me not to come close to you. I go. Now you it touches me. You keep using your actions to call my attention. And does not understand you. Is it difficult to live quietly? Why do you keep calling attention to yourself? What does I do now? What does I do? Well, the freak show you displayed last night has made the king and the queen ask questions about you and your people. I does not know. I does not know, but I, I have to praise now. I have to praise to God of moon, God of puritiness and, and perfectionist. Are you listening to me? You stop that. I stop praying. Stop praying and live quietly in this palace. Okay? I don't want to see that again. does not know how I can stop you. Sun come out, I does not pray. Moon come out, I does not pray. No, it is difficult, Nessu. No one sees what I see. This is the first time you're returning from an adventure with no story to tell. Why would I tell stories when the pictures I took is worth more than a thousand years? So the pictures are going to tell the stories now. What are you insinuating? I don't know what you think I mean with my question, but I was only wondering if there are beautiful maidens, you know, <laughs> walking around <laughs> braless. The man with a dirty mind. Well, if you care to know, I wasn't looking, so I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> it's all right. But you see, my waist still hurts. Although the physician prescribed some drugs, I've taken them, but it still hurts. Why won't your waist hurt? Tell me, after you have finished all the innocent maidens in your palace, why won't it hurt? So who's with the dirty mind now? <laughs> I'm only saying the truth. <laughs> Am I not saying the truth? <laughs> oh, the help is here. Thank you. I hope it helps. Oh. It's not looking funny. I have to finish it. Drunk. Ah, it's bitter, huh? I freeze. It's so bitter. Wow. Really? What is it? The pain is gone. It's gone? I, I can... I can literally feel my waist. Are you serious? It's gone. You didn't tell me you have such a wonderful hub in your kingdom. Uh, this is not from us. She made it herself. Oh. That thing that is does you in your body. 
We call it man pain. Yes. It is worries you because you does not use your man something very well. Because if you use it, if you use it to perform, you exercise the man performance. It does not happen again. But now your goodness. I go, sir. Hey, hey, hey come on, take this. Come on, come here. Come here. I'm take this away. I go. Is she in any way insinuating that my sexual inactivity is the reason for my waist pain? But I know you're active, so... I am not active. You're I'm active, not, the not ladies. Not always. That reminds me. Is she new? I've not seen her before. Really? What are you doing here and why are you touching me? I helps you. You complain body pains, body pains. Did I ask for your help? Lie, I, I can't. Okay, shut up, did I ask you for your help? And how dare you lay your filthy hands on me? Why are you vex, vex? It is helping I help. Why are you helping me? We have a royal misuse that takes care of massages. I have told you time and time and again to live quietly in this palace. I don't want people asking unnecessary questions that will put you into trouble. Now get out of my room. Like my friend, get out of my room! Tell me I like it. I don't want to see you in this room again. You even lock. Come, get out, get out, get out. Lock the door. You lay your hands on my prince. How dare you? I does not seduce. I go and help prince touch pain so that prince well again. As what? Touch which prince? Who sent you? Body. Shut up! Shut up, you disgust me already. Shut up! Who are you? Are you a doctor? Who sent you? Who asked you to even go close? What temerity? What, what gods? Are you mad? Oh, I see that you just came from the gods to come do what here? I want you a question. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, anti wickedness. I'm sorry. Every time you hate, I'm sorry. You are mad. I see that you came from that slab where you. That, 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 that goddess you came from, you had the mind to come say you want to be a queen here, right? Or have a chat for my prince, my prince! No, I does not do that. I does not do that. Prince does not like me. If I born child, he does not like the child. God forbid! You are God forbid here! Do you hear me? You have the gods to go close to my prince, my own property! How dare you! I, I go mad or something! I go mad! I does not, I does not seduce so... I help! Prince, back pain I help! It does not seduce. It's not sweetness for body. Who has to help? You are crazy for doing that. Anti wickedness. Stop. I should stop. Yes, you are sir. asking me to stop. You are speaking when I speak, right? Oh, now I see that you you you, you are going down, right? All right. You are less busy. I'll make you busy. Do you hear me? Lie down, face the sun. Here. If I if I if I descend on you, if I descend on you, lie down and face the sun now. Yeah. If I. If I, if I slap, if I slap your skull, lie down and face the skull, right? Open your eyes, open your eyes, open the sun. Sun shine my face. That's what will kill you there. That's what will kill you and blind your eyes. Fool. Let. What will happen? After 30 minutes, burn her to that swimming pool side. Let her lie on the floor. Let that hot floor smoke her back very well. Do you understand me? Idiot. Fool. Oh, 
Vous les échappez Five hours. I'm sure she must have learned her lesson. She'll be here till after sunset. Come on, you're overdoing it. She's just an ignorant girl. Why are you making a big fuss out of her actions? Highness, do you miss her massage? Do you wish she can touch you again? Do you know how disgusted I felt when I heard you were mourning stupidly because her hands were on your neck? That was disgusting and disrespectful. I did not know she was the one massaging me. Hmm. Immediately I realized I kicked her out. <laughs> now can you just let her go? Really? Oh, really? Really asking him? <laughs> Your Highness. She is my maid. My personal maid. Personal. She understand that word, right? You rejected her. And she was assigned to me as my personal maid. Please, I oblige you to kindly mind your business, Your Highness. First of all, you don't talk to me like that. And secondly, I just want you to know that you are taking this too far. <laughs> Uncle does not left me here. You see, I, I will kick you out. <laughs> are you sick or something? <coughs> Auntie Wickedness, I said sorry, Ness, before. I will, swang I will swangle you. Shut up! I shut up it already. Must you talk? Ha! <laughs> I'm dying. You should die already. I'll get your coffin. It's a pleasure to buy your coffin. The ground is hotness. The ground is hotness. <laughs> Wash all these pills. Make sure they are all clean and well dried. Did I make myself clear? I wash. Take me river. I wash clothes. To do what? I wash clothes. River, what I wash. Wait, though. You know, don't, don't you have sense? Nobody goes to the river to wash, especially from the royal home. And I'm talking about river. We have a washing machine inside here. So go inside here and wash this clothes and stop talking about river. Where do you think you are going? Eh? River, wash clothes, water. You don't need that. Finta! Finta! Wuna! Yes, okay, she come. Oh yeah, take me river. River, we go. Where do you think you are going? Calm down. Take her to the laundry room. Show her how she will make use of the electric machine to wash. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. Ma yes, ma'am. Follow her. Sulusa, so, let's go. River room. Come Follow with her. Me. I go. So, river room. So, Prince. Ah. Where did where did where did where did Prince bring this girl first? I'm so happy when you My place we cook well well. Since I come, I does not cook. But today, I cook. Hope you know you cannot prepare anything that is outside the timetable. Hmm? You are making soup and swallow. I, I cook, I cook. Go, 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 go. I cook, finish, you come, your chops. Okay. <laughs> I surprise you now, now, now. Zulus! Zulus! 
Und zwei. Stubborn Nestfire. Fire does not come. Maybe this one does not know my language. I bring this one now. I is loose. Can't you see there's a cooker? If you don't know how to use it, you call for assistance. Hey? Do you want to burn the house? In fact, the chief may need to see this. So this. Today I cook. Madam. What did I hear you are doing? So this is how you would have been spreading the whole palace. Oh yeah? I cooks. I can see you are ready to burn everybody. Oh yeah? Let's go. Go, 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 go from this place. Go! I cook. Wuna! Wuna! Saba! Saba! Come and take this off! Come and take this is off. What do you call this? Ignorance that almost wiped off my family? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I never knew her big head is too empty. She knows nothing about civilized world. Really? And she almost killed everybody. You, what were you thinking asking this idiot to go cook for everybody? Please, I'm sorry. She talked about being a good cook. So I just decided to give her a chance. A chance that almost destroyed us. Don't ever give her any chance again. Don't entrust anything serious into this idiot's hand until she's properly trained and integrated into a, a, a proper civilization. What is that? Your Majesty, please, I'm sorry. I will do just as you commanded. You two are dismissed. Go back to your duty post. Come on, let's go. And this one is he nodding head as if she has an agama lizard. <laughs> yes, sweet. My place, lizard chops. Make sure don't. Come, let's go. See who you gave food to go and cook. I'm sorry, Majesty. Look at who she gave. Ah! Hmm. She would have put lizard for us to eat, sir. Possible. <laughs> Where, where, where is the room? I'm, I'm, I'm looking around. Why? Did your worst thing start again? <laughs> oh, not at all. Um, I just want to hear her talking again because the last time she was so hilarious. I think there's something about her. <clears throat> Can we exchange mates? Like one of my maids in exchange for her. Are you tired of your mates? Because I don't understand why you would want to exchange mates. Do you think they are toys to be exchanged just like that? See, my prince, there's no way in this life I can consider a girl with such a gift as a plaything. 
No, I just think she's special and there's something about her. You know what? I don't blame you. Because you don't have any sense of loyalty with your gender when the opposite gender is involved. My man, I don't know why you're pissed off this much, but... <clears throat> you see, it's love before friendship. Really? I'm only joking, man. Don't take things too serious. Come on. You know you're my brother and I love you. Come off it, man. Oh my good God! What are you doing, you bush fool? What is this? I cleaned the table very well. Stop it! It is stop it! Stop it! Why is she? Oh my goodness! Go from Mike, Michael, Michael, where did you get this animal from? Your Majesty, I only asked her to clean the table with a small rank. I do not know how this this fool. I do not understand. A mop on the table, like dining table where people eat. Are you mad? Okay, sorry. I think. Oh my Michael. God! Oh my. If you try that now, I'll kill you here. What is wrong with you? Huh? Take this animal out of my sight before I do something drastic to her. Take her away. Take her away. Your, your Majesty, she, she, she stinks. Get out. You, you, you heard her. Get out and go. Shut up and just get back to the forest or the bush where you came from, you bush animal. Are you dead or something? Are you crazy? Get out. You stink. Such royal cheers. Mates! 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 Kings, queens, sorry about the about the table. Do not punishment me. Sorry. I, I did not call you for that. The queen is in charge of domestic matters. Okay. Majestic, what I do? Yes, um, Prince Ramon told me that the pain on his leg is gone completely. Is that true? Yes, medicine I give. You go. Pain, see medicine, pain run. My place, you bring medicine, you give. The person take air. Eh. He comes, he comes, he come belly. He come belly, he shake belly. Heat come out, sickness run. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, so that's how, so funny. <laughs> So funny, but it's okay. Uh, what I'm thinking about People is... People sick, sick. All they right. go, meet doctor. Doctor take money, sickness not go. Yeah, I do. Doctor every time take money. Doctor every time take money, sickness not go. Small medicine, sickness wrong. <laughs> okay, it's, it's funny. So right now, I want us to have um, a kind of uh, agreement. I want you people to teach my kids, man, the process of this medicine. I've seen that you people have a lot of um, herbs and the way you go about it. So you could teach my my community about it. Uh, and, um, you know, that's how I want it. Majestic, that's hardest. That's one hardest. It's not hardest. I, I, I don't know whether you understand what I mean. It's not for free. We will. I will ensure that money is spared, big money. And then we'll learn how to cook these herbs. I will just give you time to think about it, but it's what I will do. I will give you money, so you send message across to your people about it. Think about it, okay? Yeah? Majestic, I think. Mm -hmm. I think. Answer I cannot give now, I think. Oh, that's, that's no problem. I go. Hey, go. Hey, girl. Thank you, Majestic. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what did she give you points? Something about this child. Something about this child that is making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong Scrums, with you? Scrums, Scrums. Come for what? Promise. You have no right to sermon me. I know so much. It's call I call. You called me for what? Problem days. 
kings I call me, I say I go to my community for medicine. What? I take him. No, yes. no, 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 no. This is what I've been afraid of. That is why I keep telling you to lay low. Now you see what you've cost? He, he cannot fit to go. He cannot fit to go because if go, problem me and you. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know that? What is wrong with you? Hmm. Oh my God. Ramon is curious about you. Now the king. The next thing, the whole kingdom. What do you think will happen if they, if they find out? Hmm. Uh, now I'm fearing fear. Now I'm fearing fear. Now you're fearing fear. I keep telling you to lay low. No more doings. I know why I cause you because my problem, your problem, your problem, my problem, I cause. My problem is not your problem. Your problem is not my problem. My problem, not your problem. Not my problem. Nothing for nothing. Nothing for nothing. I take king. You get my medicine. Come on, come on, come on. I go. Are, are you mad? Are you crazy? And you listen. You lay low. Live in this palace like you are not here. Can you do that? So. But now, King, I wait answer tomorrow. What I do? Don't worry about that. I will, I will talk to you myself. Now you talk. <laughs> my problem, now your problem. You talks now. Your problem, not my problem. Mm -hmm. So, nothing for nothing. Nothing for nothing. My problem, not your problem. Not my problem. Now you listen to me. Stop asking me to meet you in private. We are not in any kind of relationship. I don't like you, and that will never change. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You go? I go. I go. No one sees you, what you, I see. Sulusa. Sulu. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will make her. Majesty. So. Sam? Thank you. You never told us that the place you went to on adventure is gifted with such heavy power. Oh, um, yeah, I did not know until Ramon said so. But then he complained about um, side effects. Side effects? Uh, no, he didn't. He's completely healed. <laughs> what are you talking about? Really? What is? I thought he complained about side effects. He never did. I... I'm of the opinion we should find out they are a, a, a hub for conception so that Mildred can be prepared before marriage. Let uh, us start taking it little by little at least to prepare the womb. Mother, I don't think going to that community will yield any positive results. I'm sorry to dash your hopes, but these people are very secretive with their medicine. They don't share. But they were open to, with it with Raymond. Raymond was able to. We, 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 can, we can, you know, make them understand some certain business. It's called social intelligence. You know, we, we give them what uh, they don't have. Uh, and then in return, they'll give us their orthodox message straight by matter. <laughs> we can sell that idea. Okay. Dad, these people are not civilized, they don't know what trade is. Look, why don't we empower our physicians here with science and technology and forget about this primitive medicine? I'm making sense, right? What you do, Queen Chamber? What you do? You cause trouble the fire. No, 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 no. None of that is going to happen. I came to at least see your face and thank you for healing me with the have the other day. Oh, that. Thank uh, you so much. See, this you get, man property you get, use man property. Does not use man thing, problem, come back. <laughs> use man thing. Uh, see, I am soon going to be the king and I need to save enough to have a son. I tell you story. One man, my place, he marry, marry. You use man thing with wife, use man thing with wife, use man thing with wife. It does not bomb boy. Ah. It does not bomb boy. It come. I give her. It born three boys. That powerful? But I does not tell anybody about her. Oh. I give you, you close. You talk, spoil. Oh, oh don't worry. It's going to be a secret between us. Secretive. Okay? Yes. <laughs> now I go walk before Queen come, Queen beat. Oh, no problem. Eh? But take care of yourself for me. Use eh? something. Use man something. Does <laughs> not will. use man something. Problem come back. Problem I come back. I does not give you. No one sees oh. what I see. 
you are, what you're doing. You're wintering me wound. See, if I can beat you, I will. I just got the king and queen off our backs and you're enticing Ramon with medicine? He call, he calls me. I don't, you don't want me to answer the call. Why are you telling him to have sex so that his waist pain will not come back? Do you wish to do that with him? Me? That is... Does not insult me. Does not insult me. I just helps him because he said he likes my medication. Who are you to help him? Huh? Who are you to help him? I should not help a good man. Listen to me. I just tell you to stay in this house like no one is seeing you. Is that too much to ask? I should not help a good man. A good man call. I should not answer. So now he's a good man and I am the devil. Huh? Are you listening to me? It is only this devil that cares about your safety. If he finds out about your true identity, you think you'll still be a good man? You won't. I will make a man. She's the girl I want. She's the girl I want. Make a man. No matter, no matter what they say, no matter what they think, I will make a man. She's the girl I want. And if I wickedness does not do, I check good life fitness me. Now I don't clean everything. They don't know what she has. I check. I check it. In her. I check Matty. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what. I will make her mine. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> What is this? Why are you wearing Mildred's clothes? Eh? You even wearing my shoe? What is wrong with you? I wear I check mates. If good life fitness me. You check mates? You you even wearing my shoes? If Mildred catches you wearing this outfit, she will bury you alive. What I do? I kill? I does not kill. You're asking me? I check mates good life. What I not do? What are you not do? You see this trouble? You are in this trouble yourself. You are in this alone. Jesus Christ. Talks through. It does not fit you. Just shut up. It does shut, not shut up your mouth. Shut up. What does not fit you? Does this fit you? Huh? Does it fit you? It doesn't fit. I boot. I find. I sexiness. <laughs> I don't know what she has <laughs> in her. I does not kill She's somebody. I check my good life. Move! I'm sorry. I'm yes. sorry. Drop them! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have the guts to wear my dress. And even you wear my hair. Do you know what? What is this? This is 40 bull street. One million. Are you mad? I'm sorry. As I disapprove of what she did, I frown at the actions taken by Midred. What if she had drowned in the pool yesterday? Your Majesty, a maid should always remember and never forget her status. Sulusa here, overstepping her boundaries, could have cost her more. Could have, in fact, her arms should have been chopped off. Rubbish. Sorry, King. Sorry, Queens. I fitness good 
life. Sorry. Let's get Let this not happen again. Because next time you deserve you you, you will receive more. That's it, no. Return to your duty. Thank you, Kings. Thank you, Prince. I go. Come and stay here with us. I go. Come and stay. How is it that my crown is missing? What am I? Your Majesty. What's the meaning of that? It's an abomination. It's a huge abomination. Whoever is responsible for this, he or she's life will not be spared. This has never happened in this palace before. It is pleasing to touch the king's crown. Let alone move it. How, how can this even happen? If by the end of today and the crown is still missing, I will get the guards, the maids arrested, and tortured severely. Someone is behind this, and I must get to the root of it. Such on. full of herself. Look at her. She wears maid's uniform like us, yet thinks she has equal standing with the royals. Fool. Why are you not worried? Why are you not worried? That we'll be tortured for something we know nothing about. Why are I worried? <laughs> what huh? I find, I does not touch. What I find, I does not sabi. Why are I worry? I don't want to get punished though. I don't want to get punished okay. though. What I find, I touch. I touch what I find. When you open your mouth, then, do you know what happens? Foolishness oozes out in form of speech. We do not know the whereabouts of the crown, and we are worried about being tortured. Have sense. I don't want to get punished, though. Ha. Oh, OK. Wait, 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 wait. They torture? They beat? They will torture. They will, they will kill us today. They beat or cut hands? And I don't know, but they will kill us today. <sighs> Go that side. What are you doing to the crown? Ah, since I start work in this place, I clean floor, I clean chair, I wash his clothes, everything. But nobody does clean this thing. He, he stays here every time. Nobody does clean it. So I touch it. I said no. It is dirtiness. I put it inside pocket. I put water and I soak it so that all the dirtiness will go out. It is washing it that I wash. Wait, what kind of foolishness is this? Huh. Doesn't she know he's a clown? You have never seen a clown in your life? So even think that she led the search for it while having it washed. That is the height of foolishness. Who instructed you to wash this crown? <laughs> you does not know anything. Do I need instructions before I wash that? I see dirty, I wash dirty. I bad? No, I do bad. Your Highness, she must be punished. This is sacrilege. No one dares touch the crown except the king or the head to the throne. I know, but, but, but I'm thinking again. What are you thinking about? Are you going to let this idiot go? Really? Like, really? Well, I know what she has done is not the right thing, but I think she needs a proper orientation on how things are wrong around here. No one 
sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will. Her Majesty the Queen. You ask to speak with me. Sit. You saw how one small fly shook the peace of the real house today. Ignorance, they say, is an incurable disease. It sinks whatever that is close to it. Mother, I think Sulusa is not aware of what to do and what not to do. She has no idea of boundaries and superiority. Where she comes from, they only recognize old and young. There are no royals and commoners. They all live as one in a very, very small community. And that does not justify the fact she is trying to kill the peace of this royal house. So I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to do something noble. And as commendable that is, it is a promise that is doomed to break. Return her to her community. Send her away as a, As if you don't know what she did. As heinous as that is, send her away. I cannot do that. What kind of a prince will I be if I cannot keep my word? A prince's word is treated as gold. I cannot take it back after giving it. Else I'll be seen as weak and lacking integrity. And your word is stronger and better than the peace, stability of this royal house. Her mother entrusted her to me and I cannot break her fragile heart by taking her back. I'm not breaking your heart, mother. All we have to do is to educate her and everything will be fine. I see. Crazy? No, no. Crazy? No, 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 no. I, I, I was not trying to do anything bad. Eh? You know, say, um, you know, in this kind of life we are now, this is how men show women they like them. Why you like? I want to marry you. You marry somebody you married before. Eh? Somebody wife you marry. You, you crazy? You are married. Does not touch me again. Does not twinkle me again. Touch me, twinkle me, I finish you. I will make a man. Big news. Huh. The chief guard said that Sulusa is a married woman. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. That must be a joke. No. no. I mean, it is sacrilegious for a married woman to be a palace maiden. And they can have her killed if this is discovered the truth. <laughs> Very no, it's serious. Not, it's not possible. Oh. Oh. Really? Really? The prince himself knows that a married woman cannot be a maid in this palace. So what are you talking about? Uh, Say nothing. I will get to the root of all this. Ah? Huh? Let me just take it as one of our jokes. Come on, go back to your jobs. <laughs> Mike, how well do you know this Sulusa? I mean her identity. Are we still on this? I have told you I am not kicking her out on the issue of ignorance and illiteracy. I see. And I ask you, what if she does not meet the criteria of being a maid? Are we allowed to kick her out? What criteria are we talking about? 
my prince. We heard that Slusa is a married woman. Yes! And a married woman is not expected to be here in the palace as a maid. Wow, um, I mean, who, who told you that? She confessed that herself to the chief guard. And honestly, the way it stands, if this is true, we cannot only punish her. We will kick her out of this place. Mike, how well do you know her? What facts do you know about her? Or you just saw her, took pity on her, and brought another man's wife to the palace? Well, I um, met with her family and nobody made mention of her being married. Look, I'm sure this is one of Sulusa's ignorant jokes. Ignorance is not an excuse to break the laws of the palace. I will make sure she suffers if I find out that what she said is the truth. She will not be saved from my wrath. I'll make sure she pays dearly for deceiving me. Let her go and make your findings well. Why are you parading yourself as a married woman? Huh? <coughs> you, you, you better not lie to me because you told the chief guard you're married. I talk. Chief guard comes. He talks. He likes me. <coughs> he likes to marry me. I said no. He does not marry a married woman that is married already. Is that why you told him that? If they ask you to provide a husband, do you have one to show? <coughs> huh? People talk no man talk. To, to chase people that want to chase them. I, I just talk shit. It's a girl talk. Stop making such expensive jokes in this palace. Do you know that maids that are married can be punished and kicked out for it? Hmm? Yes! Tutuza! What's Tutuza? I does not know that they kills them. Stop making such expensive jokes in this palace. Do <coughs> you understand? Now get out. <laughs> you kills me. Get out! I go. Go. Get out. <coughs> they don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will make her mine. No one sees what I see. My, my girls are at the shop there. Yes, once you supply the goods, they will confirm and make payment immediately. Guys! 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 What the fuck? What? What I do? Tell me what I can. What I do? What were you thinking when you tried to, to attack? My, my wife with this wood. King, <laughs> sorry. Queens, sorry. Attack I plan not. Since I call palace, every day I see evil. I see evil, I look evil. Every day I see evil, I look evil. Today my body does not want to look evil. I want to kill. Because my village red feather evil, we kill. We born because evil. Today I see again, my body touch me, my body say kill, kill, I kill, I does not know, Excuse I me? Attack. Are you saying that your target was on the feathers on the crown? Yes, this, this evil, evil, that's a lie. Your majesty, this girl almost broke my head with this long <laughs> wound. My head is aching now, as if, as if a, a, a trail had jammed my head. Oh. She had, this, this is a conspiracy. She has always known that I kicked against her existence in, the, in this palace. So, 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 so she made a move at my life, pretending it was the it was okay. the, the feather. Which feather? Which feather? Let's shut. There is no ignorance entertained in the king. For this, you are going to be in dark room for three days without food.
<laughs> I'm just saying her foolishness cracks you up so hard. Even though as humorous as that looks, it wasn't not your head that that can almost hit today. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I've never seen things so funny like that. I don't know whether you see her as, an, as a royal jester or what. Uh, or whether I am the jester. Any royal house that sees her queen as a royal jester should be ashamed of itself. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. She has been punished for this. But the fact is that nobody can really throw light of what happened in the palace today. Okay? That punishment was the least of it. Uh, she should have been killed. In fact, beheaded. Or chopped her hands, chopped off. Keep her alive, but without hands. Sorry. That girl is a prone. To, to, to accident in, 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 in this palace. I see, I see. Save your breath, okay? I believe she will be guarded after this sports. But I've never seen a thing that made my queen scream for a long while. Oh. And I've never seen you laugh so hard. I, I don't know when you became this soft or you are gloating over my misfortune or what. Not, Tell me. Oh, can you stop? I think. What I do here, what I do here, now see me, now punish me again. No, nobody will punish you again. Um, I heard what happened to you. I heard you were locked in the guard room for days without food. Hope you're okay now. I hear you where you pity me for the pain. Yes, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm very sorry about that. I, I know your intentions are pure, but the actions you took were, were dangerous. It's fine. Thank you. You care, care. Not Prince that does not care, care for humans. <laughs> of course I care about you. And you're my friend. Um, I heard you were flogged the other day because you wore clothes that belonged to Mildred. You know what? I bought you nice clothes and shoes. Yes. Gift me. Yes. That and why are you exchanging body heat? It's not heat I change, it's gifts he gives. Give it back. You cannot accept gifts from him. Why can't she accept gifts from him? Why? Is she not deserving of something good because she's a maid? That is not your call to make. I am sure the maidens in your palace do not receive gifts from you. Ramon, what do you want? Salusa is not a baby. She's an adult. She can decide to do what she wants to do, where and how she wants to do it without your permission. Now let me remind you, I brought her here, that makes her my responsibility. So she's going to do as I say. You're not keeping that gift. Do you hear me? Godalimo, thank you. I keep the gift. Yeah, I go. Welcome. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Why do you care so much about Solusa? Is it because she's your responsibility? Oh, do you like her and you don't know how to say it? <laughs> Ramon, you think everyone is like you that has this crazy idea about a perfect love and, and, and soulmates irrespective of status? I am not like you, and I don't trust your intentions around her. Excuse me. I will find out what is eating you up, my friend. Trust me. What did I just witness? Prince Ramon bought you a gift? I does not ask. I does not request. I does not want. You give me gift. Do you know for a slave? I think you are too ambitious. I don't like it. What is your plan? You, you want to have Prince Ramon tied around your fingers and then make my own Prince Mike look at you as a big brother being possessed about you because I do not understand it. What's your plan? What I do, princess, what I do. I stay my stay. Prince Ramon, Give me gift. I does not ask gift. What I do? There's something about you that I do not understand. Looking at where you came up from, I think you are here with a lot of shams, right? To have the princess round your fingers, right? Is that your plan? Aha, uh -huh. you are failed. Woefully. Do you hear me? You are failed woefully because I cannot even stand you. 
Or do you think that I will be the same thing as you? Nah, that's not possible. You are, you are so disgusting. I know you not me. Me nice, you wicked. You not me. Auntie Fine, you not me. Look at the way you speak. Your stupid English. Your English can sh shatter and destroy bottles. But the way you swear men into your hands is what I do not understand. For the last time, your charms will not work. And I cannot even stand you again. What do you think? That I will be a queen and you a queen? How? It can work. It's not possible. Do you hear? Because that will happen if someone keeps seeing you as, as is it a girlfriend or having love, love interest with you. Because I don't get it. What's your problem? I does not want queen. I stay my stay. Ramon give me gifts. I does not plan queen. With all these your stupid attitudes, you do not want queen. It's your ambition and it will not work. I will disgrace you and make you the slave that you are. You will slave. A slave must be a slave. You cannot be a queen. Do you hear me? Auntie Fine wickedness, what I do? What I do? What I oh, you do? You want to know what you have done, right? I'm answering your question. You want to know what you have done? Yes. Go down your knees. Eh? Go down on your knees. Auntie, beautiful finest. Since you call I stand, she does not talk anything. What you want? I bring you sweet color water or I bring tea. What you want? Why you call? Do not question me. Stay right there until I'm done. When I'm okay, I'll let you know why I called you. Is that okay? I stay there. Don't stress me. I stay there. Beautiful place. Today you nice. I stay there. You saw I stay there. What? On my bed! With your with your stupid body! You say it's dead! I I Jeez! Oh my <laughs> god! Ow! He pays you! Ow! Flog you flog, he pays me like this! Ow! <laughs> Ow! 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 He pays you! He pays you! Get out! <laughs> You see, I thought very hard and long about our conversation yesterday. You're right anyways. You see, I would do same if she were to be entrusted under my care. Thanks for acknowledging the truth. So that means you will seek the hand of a noble bride. Oh, you're getting it all wrong. You see, um, my father has no issue in class or status. He's a very big promoter of true love. Who believes love has no bounds? So, what are you trying to say? I really like Sulusa. She makes me very happy. And I'm ready to fight for a hand in love. Um, I, my intentions for her are very pure. So don't bother yourself about me taking advantage of the poor maid. You selfish bastard. Why do you only care about your desires and not her plight? Do you think your people will open their hands for an illiterate and ignorant maid from the neighboring kingdom as their queen? Now let me tell you, if you don't know, the royal politics is bigger than your love and romance. And my love is fierce and relentless. So big to combat any opposition that will come against my happiness. Why don't you let me bother about my kingdom and my people? Just do not stand in my way. Raymond, you don't know what you're saying. Believe you me, you don't know what you're saying. Don't be an impediment to my desire. You know, Una, I never knew a day like this would come that I will envy this bush girl. Imagine Prince Ramon, you know, like in love with this local thing. Have you noticed that the prince is against it? I mean, he acted like a big brother by telling Prince Ramon to stay away. Oh. 
Like that trash got the attention of two future kings. Eh? Hey, come. Where you? Which soap they take bath for your village? Come, come and tell me. Come. Fierce does not catch you. Come and cut soap for me. Fierce does not catch you. My friend, come and cut soap. You gossip, gossip in my back. You gossip, gossip in my face. Cut soap. I tell you something. Prince Ramo, me, friendship, no love. I tell Prince Ramo, no love. I tell him not in love. Story. Or is she <laughs> trying to show off by pretending to reject the affection of a prince? You know, I knew it. Village girls like this knows how to use their ignorance and craziness to manipulate and hook a man. Look at her. Anyway, I agree with you. But if it's in her destiny to become a future queen, then who knows? No. Prince Ramon is infatuated. He saw us clean, well spoken, and educated. Yet, he thinks he likes this trash. Or did you feed him with that uh, love potion in the herbal healing that you gave to him? I walk now, does not call again. You gossip me my back, you call me my present, you gossip. Crazy? Crazy? That's big chief, question. big chief, call, I answer. Majestic, call, I answer. Big princess, call, I answer, does not call again. Does not call again. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Yes. We want to know exactly what is delaying the royal wedding. Tell us. You promised that once you return from the adventure, you'll get married. It's three months you returned. Until now, you're not even making any move towards getting married. Well, I... I knew you were going to ask sooner or later, but I was just wondering what was taking so long. Son, we have patiently waited for you to use your discretion. But your intention of getting married is not forthcoming, or so it seems. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Do you love each other? Oh. Is that not that I love your mother? Why are you bringing the issue of love? Because I am envious of Ramon. His father gave his blessings to marry for love. He is to marry whomever he wants, despite her class, background, or status. Okay. Do you have anyone you love? Is that going to make any difference? It will not. We cannot change the tradition of night. Who has been here before our fathers. The next king is supposed to marry a royal blood. She is to rule beside him. Exactly my point. I will get married, but I just need some time to prepare. Son, the time is now. You cannot engage Mildred for so long without properly getting married to her. It's considered a evil. Noted. If you want them forever to get married. My princess, what's the problem? You don't look happy. What's wrong? Your Majesty, it's been eight months I got engaged to the prince. Yet, he doesn't talk to me about anything concerning marriage. That is not a problem at all. The king and I have spoken to him. And he says he needs time. Mother, what if he doesn't want me anymore and he wants somebody else? Could you stop? Don't talk like that. The prince he has not requested for the engagement to be broken. Which is a good sign. I, I believe he's experiencing some kind of cold feet. But you come around. Your Majesty, this is not helping me at all. 
My friends that we all got engaged at the same time are married now. Then they used to be envious of me that I got chosen as the next queen of this kingdom. But now they mock me, saying that I could not please the prince. Mildred, that should not bother you. The king and I will order him to do the needful if he comes to that. The prince must marry you before this month runs out. I got your back. Okay? Thanks, mother. Can you not cheer up? Your Majesty, please, I need more time. It is the freedom that we have given to you is what you make you think that as the heir apparent to the throne of my fathers, you have a choice. You have always trusted me to do the right thing. Why can't you trust me one more time? Of this one, you are not thinking right. You are beclouded by ideas of love, therefore drifting away from a long-standing tradition. Son, everything we have done, we have done for you and the next generation. We have walked in the path of our forefathers and we expect you to follow suit and walk in our footsteps. Look, I am not talking to you as your father only. I am speaking as the supreme ruler of Shalusha Kingdom. You are getting married in three weeks. Your Majesty, please, don't do this. Your opinion is not needed in this matter. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Finally, the palace is busy and full of life. <laughs> yes, so... <laughs> The long-awaited royal wedding is in two weeks. Hmm. Uh, it looks like the royal house has an enemy of progress within it. What do you mean? Who is that? How can you explain Sulusa's long face, even now that everyone is happy with the upcoming royal wedding? Look at her. That's true. That confirms our suspicion. Maybe she's in love with the prince and hearing that he is getting married upsets her. Hmm? Why is your face like that? Cha 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 He talks about me. I'm here, he does not ask me. He just talk, 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 talk. Why he talks oh. like that? Okay, let me ask you. Hmm? Madam, why are you not happy for the prince? Hmm? Or are you liking his protectiveness over you? Maybe. Hmm. You wish he will love and marry you. <laughs> My friend, that can only happen in your dreams. Hmm. I does not answer you. You, I talk to you. Because this one, open mouth, nonsense come, rubbish come, death come. He does not answer. You see, Prince, Prince nice, Prince good man. Prince marry, I happy. Because Prince, my friend. My friend. But my problem is anti fire wickedness. Mm. She brings forever no happiness. No happiness. She does not make Prince happy. That I worry oh. for my friend. Oh. You worry about the royals. Why are you worried about the royals? You. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the royals. Allow them worry on their own, okay? Not everyone has to be a clown like you to make others happy. You're worried about the royals. Let's start and get it. Your business. I would have said congratulations on your upcoming wedding, but seeing how miserable you look, <laughs> what more can I say than it will be all right, eh? Oh God, the mom. Oh, can you stop with your sarcasm? Huh? Getting married now will be a disaster. I cannot get married. Don't tell me you are scared of getting married to Mildred this much. 
Or are you indirectly using your responsibility to Solusa as an excuse? What are you even saying? Does that make sense to you? What has Solusa got to do with this? Everything. Everything. Because I am trying as much as I can to understand why you have someone's daughter engaged for seven months and you don't even look like you want to get married to her. Look, I did not call you here to analyze me. Okay? Okay. I have a personal problem that I'm dealing with. I just want you to give me ideas that can overpower the king's veto command. That's all. Is there a thing like that? Uh, okay, maybe the gods or possibly the force of nature. The force of nature? Yeah. That would work. Yeah, that, that, that would definitely work. But how do you intend to use the force of nature to overpower the king's veto? <laughs> Did I say I will? You, my friend here, is going to use nature to delay this marriage. Come on, let's go. Put inside tea. Gives him. Eh. Hey. Is, is it poison? Like. Poison, it... poison, I ask. Why poison? I kiss people. I reach us? No, I no, reach us. No, 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 no. See, I, in as much as he doesn't want to get married, he wouldn't also want to die. I does not care. Put this make co, 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 co sickness. Week five sickness. Uh, five weeks. After, strong again. Okay, okay. I, I think this is going to help. Yes. Put help. small, small inside tea. Okay. Now sick. Yes. Catch go, catch yes. go, catch yes. go. Body hot. Mm -hmm. Later, body strong. But does not tell anybody I give. You tell I give, I have problem because Prince wants. Okay. Prince wants, Prince say, stay, stay your stay, does not go everywhere in palace. I, I think I understand what you're saying, but please, um, I'm not going to tell anybody, okay? It's a secret between me and you. Thank you very much. Does not open. Thanks. They don't know what she has in her. It seems uh, his state of health is not too good. Yeah, very critical, Your Highness. I'm sorry he has to be watched for at least the next five weeks. What? Five weeks. F five what? Doctor. That is a long time. The royal wedding is in two weeks. That won't, I don't think that would be possible. Yes, he, he won't engage in any strenuous activity. The royal wedding inclusive. I mean, he has to be here, you know, watched over, treated until a satisfying fit. So I've made some prescriptions and the nurse I came with will soon arrive with the drugs. Your Highness, I beg to leave. You have my permission. Right. <sighs> Your Majesty, I am worried. He, he was fine yesterday. Don't you think the pressure of the wedding is making him fall sick like this? I wish I have an answer. However, five weeks is too much a time to keep our prospective in-laws waiting. There is no wedding until the prince recovers. I will send message across to them. That's sad. Oh, please, let's let's leave him alone. Now. The can can I be with him a bit? No, a, a, no, a little you while. need to rest. Please, let's go. My love, 
doing here? Who sent you here? Tea I bring for you. You came here to mock me? Why I mock? You came here to laugh at me? You are happy that I am not getting married, right? What I do? This is all your fault! <laughs> what I do? I sickness that sick prince. No. I is not sickness. What I do? You have a dark spirit around you. You are a witch. You came to this palace with a dark spirit. Since you came here, nothing is working anymore. Everything is just going wrong every day. What is it? Who are you? Who sent you here? What do you want? Dear. Get out. Come back here and, and, and take this nonsense with you. This person, take it. Just get out. Go. Get out. Put your hands and chanted this chant with me. If you does not do it now, I shall die. You're so gullible. I'm surprised you still believe in this superstitious nonsense. You talks belief. Eh, hey, hey, you are right. It is the belief I believe that shall kills me. I know he does not want me to leave. He wanted me to die so that you can be free. No problem. If he does not put your hand, I shall die. What are you saying? Put your hand and chant the moon chant with me. <sighs> Look, I, I don't believe whatever you're saying, but if you think me putting my hands or holding your hands is going to save you or not let you die, then I'll do it. Who's? Uh, right or left. The hand I put you put. <laughs> Half is not completed until the other's half joins it. Now it joins. They are happy. They are happy. They are bonded. Bonded. They come together. They are strong. Yes. And nobody, no man or woman or death has separated them again. The moon is happy. Chatam, <laughs> 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 
the moose, the moose, the moose goes, the moose, the moose is running. It is a runner. The moose is a runner. I was surprised when I was told you were here without my knowledge. Since when do you visit without a call? Since I realized that friendship is good, but a man in love yields to no protocols. What are you talking about? A very ripe and priceless apple is about to be plucked in your kingdom. And if you are my friend, you will support my happiness. Are we still talking about Solusa? Why can't you let this illusion you call love go? Why can't you support my choice? Why? Are you not my friend? Oh, you are embarrassed that your best friend is in love with a maid. You are obsessed, Raymond. I am not obsessed. I am in love. And I'm pretty sure you would never understand because in your whole life, you have never been in love. Listen, I am not here to see you. I am here to see her. And the next time you call my love names, I will not forgive you. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will not. Easy, 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 please. I stop. I stop pain. Sit down. No, I no. do pain. Go. Yes, pain. Pain, go. Yes, pain. Go. I take ah. pain. Mm. Mm, no, but this, 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 this happened when I was diving from a tree to you. And I'm glad I caught the animal. You go bush, you careful. Yes, I will. Mean, next time, you know. You go bush, you see bush meat. Long time not eat bush meat. Oh, right. Now miss bush meat. Where, where? My village, I go bush, I bring bush meat. I eat every, every day. I eat. Oh, um, see. You're lucky this time because I caught a very big antelope. You bring for me? Yes. Next time I'm coming here, I'm going to bring you a chunk of meat. Okay? I will. And um, <clears throat> I've been meaning to ask you something. Would you love to leave the palace? Like, stay with me, you make me happy, I make you happy, and you don't, you don't have to be a maid no more. Just come with me. Yes. Yes. Leave palace problem. Because here somebody bring. Me cannot go like that. Because somebody bring. So before leave, you tell king, you tell prince, you tell queen. Approval, leave. Okay, okay. In, in that case, I will I will talk to the king and the queen myself. Your friend, you talk? See. The king is going to approve it, that I am sure about. And once the king approves of it, the prince has nothing to say. Your friend does not agree. Problem, problem. Problem, problem for me. Let me bother about that, okay? The most important thing is you accepting to stay with me. Hmm. I think. I think because here I suffer. Here, flog, flog, beat, shout, beat, almost kill, frying pan, frying pan. Now, maybe your place, I does not know, fire. I move frying pan, I go fire. Yeah. I does not want. <laughs> no, 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 no. You take Come on, you'll be very comfortable. I will take care of you. Okay? I think it. I think it. Okay. Now, 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 I cannot give answer. I think, I meditate, I reason, I come back to you. Okay. You must be carried away hearing those sweet words from Ramon. You mean my friend, Remo? He's a kindness man. He cannot be your friend. There is no genuine friendship between royals and commoners. How stupid can you be? If you cannot fit to make friend with commoner, does not mean that my friend Remo cannot fit to make friendship with me. I have come to tell you to stop. Stop whatever you're doing or thinking. Do you hear me? Why you say? No, why you say? You say you cannot fit to make friends with commoner. 
Why you concern you with what I do with Remo? Because I brought you here. If anything happens to you, you are my responsibility. I does not want it like that. I take care of me. Yes, I am an adult. If a man sees me and he comments and say I like you, if I like him, it is okay. If I does not like him, I say no. Zulusa, do not get me angry. Do not get me angry. Stop entertaining Ramon. She knows that uh, any attempt on my life will bring an ultimate end to her. This one? Her life means nothing. Who is she? A lowly maid. The lowest of them all. Your Majesty, she is not even a royal physician. How can you trust her with your heart portion? Your heart treatment portion? This one that did not even go to school. Does she know the quantity she will give you as a dosage? Well, um, I, I just want to trust her because she's from a place where they specialize in orthodox medicine. I will do myself injustice if I do not use this opportunity to bring a lasting solution to my email. Your Majesty, there could be side effects that might lead into complications. Wait, are you desperate for this healing that you have risked it all? Why don't you stick to the normal medication our royal physician prescribed for you? Like you've been doing, sitting out here. What are you doing with this girl? Let my way fit work for me. A kingdom blessed with riches. What have you done? Your Majesty, Your Majesty. What have you done? You know, you're not, you're, you're not the only one that is going to die. I will make sure I want the entire community. It's okay. It's okay. Leave. God! Quiet. Killings. Quiet. Well, are you okay? Yes, I, I am healed. <laughs> I am healed. <laughs> He goes. <coughs> the pains in the heart and my ligaments, they are all gone. Ah. Oh, oh. What can this king do to appreciate? Ah, nothing. My place helps day. He does not take money. We give helps. Thanks, star. Thanks, sun. Thank moon. Money, no. Take money, spoil helps. Mm -hmm. I go. I go. You, you can go. I, I go. I can't thank the moon and the sun. Oh. Oh, oh, the pits are gone. You can't imagine. What is she? I'm here. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I feel so good. <laughs> I could go hiking if you agree with me. <laughs> you say I am so happy you're completely healed. Oh, offense to Slusa. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm even thinking of promoting her from the rank of a maid to a palace physician. Of course, uh, you know she's here with her uh, good medicine and her. That if you promote her from that rank of a maid to a palace physician, it will be of a benefit for the royal household. What do you think? Your Majesty. Yes? Isn't that too hasty a decision to make? 
This Elisa you're talking about does not have a proper, a formal education. I believe this thing she did, she was just, she was just being lucky. And you know, because of that poor educational background, she may not know the actual uh, uh, dosage to prescribe. I'm too much of this thing you're talking about. Make you. Can kill someone. So let's give her time. Let's see that she is not lucky, but skilled and knowledgeable in what she's doing. I agree with the queen, father. In a hurry. If you ask me, Sulusa came with the herbs. Oh. And it's only her community that grows it. What happens if she runs out? Okay. What will she do? Then doctor will position with collapse. She can't be a physician without the herbs. Father, Father, I am happy she healed you, but I, I think we should just let her be. You know, without the herbs, no doctor. So let her, just leave her where she is. As in me, let her. Everything you want to do. They look so happy together. Since your best friend is in love. He shouldn't be. This love is not going to happen. Why? <laughs> Because you are that big brother who would not allow his younger sister to be friends with his friend. Hmm? How many times do I have to remind you that Sulusa is my responsibility? Oh. I'm just trying to ensure she doesn't get hurt. Your Highness, you say that a lot. But your reaction is different. And what is my reaction? <laughs> you look like one possessed lover of his wife, seeing his wife with another man. Like, you want to go mad? That's how you react and that's how you look. Me? Mm -hmm. Possessed? Mm -hmm. Salusa. <laughs> In my weirdest dream, okay? Look at her. She's not my class. Mm. <laughs> let alone my type. Mm. Can you get that crazy idea out of your head? Fine, your highness, fine. Well, you know what? I, I, I don't like when you look like this. You look like one possessive lover. Like one overprotective fellow. Right? Your Highness, come on. Because of your health, our wedding was postponed. I feel you should be concerned about that more than this, Your Highness. Your Highness. Can you stop? What do you want? Uh, huh? What do you want? Why are you looking so long? Your Majesty, I am afraid. The royal wedding will not go as you have planned. What is your observation? Our son does not love me, Dred. And what worries me the most is that he does not love anyone either. What if he does not marry her? After making her wait for close to one year, what are we going to do? What are people going to say about us? He must do according to what you have commanded him to do. The choice of his marriage is not so in his. So he must genuflect to the alliance we are building. We have nothing to worry about. Your Majesty, what if our son ends up living a sad and unhappy life because of the choices we imposed on him? The happiness and joy of a king comes with him, not from a distant infatuation. I got for you. Yeah. Hey! Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Yes. Where I, I plant? I plant here. Yeah? Oh. I plant there. Yeah? I plant there. Yeah? I bought them for you, not for you to plant them. Not plant what I do. 
don't you understand the gesture of a man presenting a flower to a lady? It's another way of me telling or showing you that I have feelings for you. Now you talk I don't understand. You feel for me, why you feel for me? I seek sick, you feel for me. I injure, no. you feel for me. Why? No, no, Salusa, see, ever since you came into my life, my life has got more meaning. And I love you and this, listen, this is not And does not take flower. I does not take. See, love bring this, I does not take. Salusa, this is not the game. I am serious and I'm ready to marry you and make you my queen. Mm -mm. I know. I know what you do. You love me, no. Me make you laugh, yes. Now you want to deceive. You no, want to deceive. No, no, no. I am grown up. I know what I feel inside. And I know what I feel inside of me now is love for you. It's not just the laugh. I love me, you. Me, you cannot love. Me, you, good friendship. Yes, yes, good friendship. Love, no. No. Does so not tell me love again. You tell me love, I stop friendship. Talk love, friendship, no, go. No, no. See, not tell me love you. Don't. Not tell me feeling. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Keep yourself. Not tell S me. Salusa, don't, don't walk I away. Go. See? I go. Salusa, can you give it a second thought? Like, take your time and. No one sees what I. Can you just sit down? I don't feel like sitting down. I am so upset right now. Why are you upset? Because I was rejected. Salusa have the nerves to reject my love proposal. Really? Oh, uh, sorry about that. But if you have any pride left in you as a royal prince, you will just walk away and let it go. Contrary to that, my dear friend, it has given me the ginger, the pressure that I need to push harder. I will not let her be. Do you even know how it feels for a common maid to reject the proposal of a prince? Come to think of it, which man in his right senses would let go of a commoner who has no greed in her? Which man? Well, wh why do you want to reduce your value? Do you know that men have values? If a man with value is rejected, he walks away and considers it as a loss for the woman for not seeing the great in him. All right. Now let me remind you that my love is shameless and it has no pride in it. I love Salusa and I will not let her go. I will make her my queen. And where are you going to start from? Huh? Where? That girl has no brain to learn. She is a stuck illiterate. All right, my dear friend. I appreciate your effort, your concern. But you know what? Let me take care of this. Let me handle that. I will not give up on Salusa. So the earlier you get that in your head, the better for you. Ramon, you're a royal prince. Why are you beating yourself up for a, an illiterate, a maid? No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my How are you? Sorry, your father. Prince Max said he doesn't want to see anybody inside. I'm sorry. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm here to see Salusa. Can I at least meet with her? No, I'm sorry. You can't see her. The prince ordered that nobody should come inside. Meanwhile, she is very busy, and he complained that you are distracting her chores in the palace. <laughs> really? Um, <clears throat> tell the prince, my friend, that we are best friends, and he shouldn't be like this. Tell him I deserve an apology for this insult. No one sees what I see They don't know what she has In her She's the girl of my dreams Ooh, Lock the gate And listen On no account should you open gate for him next time Please Chief God, come. 
send the chief mate in to me. What have you been doing with Sulusa that she has so much free time to be playing around the palace? My friends, she does everything assigned to her. Well, whatever you're giving her is not enough. She's too free. Assign her back to my chambers. Suddenly? But you are once the one that asked or rejected her. Did I tell you I forgot? Reassign her back to my chambers. Princess Midred, she won't like this. Are you still talking? Are you disobeying my orders? Sorry, my prince. I will do as you commanded. Leave. Do not allow him into this palace. All of you. Next time, don't allow that stupid gate man to open gate for him again. Hope you heard me. You don't announce yourself before coming in. Why should I? Why should I be concerned about costs when I'm actually very pissed? Your Highness, what do I hear? That you ask them to ascend that dirty maid to your room. Why? Are you seriously asking me to explain myself? Look, the fact that we are engaged and you being the princess consort does not make us equals. Your Highness, are you by enemies trying to ignore or avoid my questions? I do not understand. What is happening, Your Highness? It is so bad enough that people say you are so engrossed with that dirty maid. You are acting so possessed about her. You check her around, how she moves and what she eats. Where she goes to, like one possessed lover. That's so disgusting already. Your Highness, please, what is going on? Now, if you think it's because we're in a relationship, you deserve an explanation. All I can tell you is I am only carrying out my responsibilities for her. <laughs> Your Highness, please. What sort of responsibility? I ask you. That dirty girl is... A, she's a grown woman and can take care of herself. Why are you mopping like you are, you, you are feeding an infant? I do not understand, Your Highness. Why are you working yourself up? Do I smell insecurity? Does the maid being close to me scare you? Why can't you believe that I am completely into us? That whatever I'm doing is because of the promise I made to her mother. Your Highness, I do not doubt you. Not at all. I doubt that stupid girl. Yes, because she has succeeded in seducing Prince Ramon. And is so into her already. She's here to make great men fall on her feet. And your highness, my prince, you are aiding her by trying to bring her close to you. All in the name of responsibility, your highness. Now let me tell you something. Sulusa and I can never be. My heart can never waver for her. <sighs> Relax, princess. Now if you will excuse me. So they are looking so happy and stronger. Can we proceed to the royal wedding? Um, I think the royal physician should uh, do a checkup before that. Son, if I don't know better, I will say 
you are excited about this marriage. No, you're not. May I know the reason you are avoiding this wedding? Mother, I have no idea of what you're talking about. I, I heard you reassigned the maid back to your chamber. And I want to ask, what is your interest in this maid? Does she have any reason to do with your disinterest in Mildred? <laughs> Sulusa cannot make me lose interest or dislike Mildred. I know my attention has been more on her lately and me moving her close to me might be misinterpreted, but I assure you, it's very innocent and harmless. I am only protecting and looking out for her because she's my responsibility. Really? She's a maid. And every maid in this palace it's my responsibility. I don't know, why are you so fixated on this girl? Must I say this every time? I brought her here. I made a promise to her family and I'm only trying to fulfill it. Well, well um, Queen, please allow him to have a brilliant space. Our son is an honorable man who stands by his words. Mm -hmm. Allow him to fulfill his promise, it's as simple as that. So he's an honorable man that stands by his words? Yes. He assured us he was going to marry Mildred. Why doesn't he want to hurry up and fulfill that obligation and marry her? Stand by your word. You spoke that, didn't you? This is what he wants. And your word. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what. Hey, 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 hey. Where do you think you're going? Cleansing done. Shining finish. My friend Raymond, wait. I go. You think you're here to serve Raymond? You are here to serve me. Now you're going to do as I say. That bathroom is dirty. Go in there and clean it. I clean already. You clean it when? You clean that bathroom? I clean, I shine. Are you challenging me? You want me to go and clean it? Huh? Oh, so because Raymond is singing love blues to you, you're feeling pompous. Let this uniform remind you who you are. Now go in there and clean that bathroom. It does not eat since morning, no. Now you know you've not eaten. Hungry catch. Now you know you've not eaten and you wanted to go out there to talk to him and entertain him. I will stop this madness. Go in there and clean it. I go. I will break your head so you retrieve your senses. Thank you. I go. But I won't show you. Clean it properly. And surprise. The prince finally decides to meet his friend. And it looks like you have abandoned your princely duties to be chasing after a maid. <laughs> what is this? A kettle calling the pot black? Really? Did you not abandon your duties to be keeping her a prisoner in your chamber? Yes! I even heard you reassigned her to your chamber. Wow, you even know where and when she moves. I do. I know you are fighting our love. You are unarguably the villain of my happiness. You may seem to have the upper hand now, no doubt. But I intend to use authority to fight power. And how are you going to do that? That will be very stupid of me 
to unveil my strategy to you. But be rest assured that I'm coming for you. Bring it on. Raymond, bring it on. But don't forget, do not underestimate your opponent. <laughs> I will never underestimate my opponent. Talk more of when I'm dealing with a formidable force like you. I'll be waiting, Raymond. <laughs> yes. Sure, what I... is this I'm hearing? That you're preventing Sinusa from meeting Ramon? You should be happy I am preventing her from rising to royalty. I do not think so. I think you are doing this deliberately. It's intentional, right? Why are you blocking Ramon from Mrs. Elisa? These are two adults. They can make their own decisions. So what's your concern? Do you believe that Ramon is in love with Sulusa? He's the future king of his kingdom. And there's no way he intends to make a low-life maid the future queen of his kingdom. And if he pleases to make her grace his bed, how is that your concern? What is your own with that? I can never let that happen. Yes. I promised her people that I'll give her the best, and that is what I'm doing. Giving her the best. You give her the best? A low life maid? A commoner! The best. She cannot have the best. You know why? Because she's just a maid. Just a maid! You're heartless. I think this is just too much. You did not promise her a good life. Ramon did. Because you made her a prisoner in your chamber and blocked her from meeting Ramon. I don't know why you're having this conversation because it is none of your business. Really? It is every inch my business because you are my business. I do not understand. What is happening here? Songs are wagging. People are talking on how you get possessed and jealous over Seleus. I come on, mate. And do you want to listen to me? It breaks my heart to see my fiancé acting such towards a mate. Like one possessed lover over just a mate. Your highness, with all due respect, please, shake this off your body and come back to your senses because this is not the man I got engaged to. Now you watch your mouth. Watch the way you speak to me. Your highness, please. Come back to your senses. Excuse me. You like to softness me. Can you fan and stop talking? I talk my mind. Auntie Big Maid, you show me for kitchen big something like this. Big brother of this thing. He cold will put water. So this I look, he cold. He touch me, I feel cold. Now this is day, and you say I find a game. Why? It's just shut, shut, shut. And this is not a fridge. It is called an air condition. He call you? Because he called me. Can you just find and stop talking? Before you go and see Ramon. Yes, I see him. What concerns? What concerns? You said you does not like me. Ramon say he likes me. Now you vex him, vex. Why? You think he likes you? He does not like you. He just wants to devour you. He's not going to marry you because he has no interest in you. I am the one who has an interest in you. So you do as I say. Just fine and stop talking. <laughs> interest? You, me, interest like this? I walk like this, I sleep, interest? Hmm. Raymond interest I like. This I don't Shut like. up, my fan. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what. I will make her mine No one sees what I see They don't
don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will make her mine. She's the girl I want. She's the girl I want. They don't know what she has in her. I will make her mine. She's the girl I want. She's the girl I want. I will make her mine. No matter the No matter cost. what they say, no matter what they think, I will make her mine. She's the girl I want. I will make her mine, no matter the cost. What the hell is going on here? What is this? Your Highness? What is this low life mate doing on your bed? Can you keep it down? Can you shut your mouth? Keep it down, okay? She's, she's really tired. She's been working a lot. Your Highness, what is this dirty thing doing on your bed? Keep it down. Okay? Can you shut your mouth? She's really tired. She's been working a lot. I mean, working on you? I can't believe this. No, no, not on me. She's, she's just work. You're sharing a bed with a maid? I Michael! Need... Your Majesty, I knew it. I said it. This is not about responsibility anymore. Your Highness, you're having feelings for this dirty thing. I, I don't have feelings for her. What, what, what do you mean I have feelings? She's just sleeping. She's just sleeping. She's really? very right to assume the worst. This is as bad as it, it, it is already. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Ooh. Hit, hit her head. I, I wink. Stop. I, Can you stop? I wake, I wake, I, I, I does not know, I does not know, I, 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 I wake, I, I lie here and I, nothing for nothing with the prince. I, I, I Shut up! up! Kneel down. Uh, uh, Kneel down! Swine! What is this? I need you to just shut up. Like I'm losing it! Shut your trap! And stop this pretend. Oh, you have succeeded, right? To call into my mouth, head, and bed. Really? Okay. Listen, I will squeeze out life out of you. And that's the promise. You are too small, you twat. Mildred, you're taking this too far. I told you nothing happened. Amazing, really. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with you sharing a bed with a maid? A royal bed. I think you're not thinking clearly anymore. Your head shall she has, she has possess you like a spirit. Your Majesty, this girl is a witch. It is not just you want to have my man wrapped around your finger. You brought your witchcraft to come close to my man, right? You are making a mistake. I will sniff life out of you. Nothing for nothing with the prince. <sighs> nothing for nothing with the prince. I sleep for floor. I don't know. I wake up bed. Nothing mm -hmm. for nothing. Your father's witchcraft took, took you to the bed. I, I, I carried her to the bed. Oh! I'm back. Your, your highness. Oh, now you put troubles. You put troubles. 
Mildred, why are you crying? You know this is too dramatic, right? Really? You think so? Everyone says I'm not worthy of your love, affection, attention. Somehow the news of the maid sleeping on your bed is on the lips of everyone. It's because you're making a big deal out of nothing. I told you nothing happened. She so just slept. Can you listen to yourself? Your bed has become a cradle where children, babies, all of them come to lie down. Don't you know no other woman apart from princess should be beside you on your bed? Every other woman found on your bed is considered disrespectful. Get that into your head. So, do you find Slusa, the maid, attractive? And air must be in control of his motion. However, you can do whatever you want and still move for the royal wedding with Princess Midway. Father, I... I do not have eyes for Sulusa. My intentions have been completely misconstrued. Your Majesty, I tell you, the prince here is very kind-hearted. And I can see someone taking advantage of that kindness. Is it not better we invite the royal physician to come satisfy him? If he finds him, okay, let us go on with the royal wedding. Delay is dangerous. I agree with you. I will send for him immediately. Be prepared. I still remember when back when you were still a little boy. I would come to visit your father and you would offer me a piece of food. Oh, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> right, <laughs> What are you doing here? Your Majesty, it breaks my heart to see that my own best friend is asking me what I'm doing in the palace. Well, cut the crap and state your business. You and I know you're not here to see me. Okay. <clears throat> Seems you want me to go direct. I will. Your Majesty, a delectable apple has been found in your palace. And I've come to pluck it with your permission, Your Majesty. But well, what must have caught your attention? The last time I checked, I did not have a daughter. Oh, Your Majesty, I have found love in the eyes of a maid, Sulusa. And I've come to ask for her hand with your permission. Is your father away? of your intention to marry a maid. Oh, yes, your majesty. My father, the king, approves of my decision to marry for love. He is willing and ready to support my happiness. I'll be so grateful if my humble request is approved by your majesty. Father. Oh, well, um, if your father is in support of your intention, I stand by it. What? Yes, he's my friend. Thank you, your majesty. I will seek for Sulusa's hand as soon as possible and make her my queen. 
Thank you so much. Raymond, whatever you're looking for, you're going to get it. But I swear on my royal blood that your inordinate ambition will never see the day of light. I promise you that. What a kingdom, Chuluta, blessed with a prince, as bold as a lion, Chuluta. Your Majesty, I wish I can tell, but Your Majesty, to the best of my knowledge, your word and command is supreme. I owe you an apology. I overreacted a few days ago. That's an understatement. You almost lost it. Let me ask you, are you in love with Salusa? Because you acted like a jealous lover. You are my brother and friend. Not opening up to you has been insensitive of me. Can it not be Salusa? Why not? You, you are engaged to be married to. You are engaged to Mildred. You are engaged to be married to Mildred. So why not Solusa? Can you just trust me on this? Huh? Just trust me. There is something you do not know. A deep secret that has been giving me sleepless nights. Just let it go. I will not. I mean, not when the king has given me his blessings. I love her. Only if you can give me a reason that is a matter of life and death. If not, I won't let her go. You cannot marry Sulusa because she's a married woman. And I'm only trying to protect her dignity as a married woman. How is that even possible? How? I mean, how is a married woman a maid in the palace? But, I mean, who is she married to? And why is she not with her husband? It all happened when I traveled to Budubu community on my last adventure.
You must be a stranger. I don't know what you must have had concerning this village. You don't come to this village and defy our daughter without the intention to marry. You don't. Wait, what? Defile who? Our daughter. I, 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 did, I did not defile this girl. Look, it's, it was raining and I, I needed shelter. I saw this hut and I ran into the hut to wait for the rain to stop. I did not know she was in there. Her mother just came in and started accusing me of taking advantage of, of, of her daughter. I, did, did I touch you? He does not touch. I, I didn't touch her. He does not touch me. Um, um, I have problems with mother. Mother pursue. Mother pursue, I run. So I run, I hide. Rain falls. So I go roof. I stay roof, I see brother. Mother comes. Mother say we do man and woman. We does not do man and woman. It does not touch me. I, 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 did, I did touch her. Foolish! You, my daughter, together, doing it. You do something. We does not do. Eh. You do something. You, you do something. Tuza, tuza. Hmm. The law of the land is simple. Whoever that is caught with a young maiden in this village, doing such a thing, it's either you marry that young lady or you die. What? Eh? Wait, wait. Come on, man. I, I can't marry her. I have a fiancé back home. Look, look there's, there's, there's been a little misunderstanding, okay? You tell them that we, we, we didn't do anything? Huh? You're, you're eyeing me. Tell them that we didn't do anything, you're eyeing me. I talks. I talks. Look here. Our people are already at the village square, waiting. For what? Take them to the village square for the marriage rights. Immediately. Get off! So you are telling me that you are married to Solusa. She's your wife. I was forced at Cutlass, Machets and Dagger Points to marry her. If I had refused, they would have killed me. Now I see why you are trying to avoid marrying Mildred. Because if you marry her, she'll become a second wife. Because you're already married. Now I see your plight. I'm sorry I did not trust you on this secret. But I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Listen, the marriage can be nullified as it was done against your wish. Yes, you have to tell your father so that such a barbaric law cannot prevail over your choice. No one should be treated the way you were treated, especially when it's a royal prince like you. If my father finds out that his son was threatened, don't you think he's going to go to war with this community? How do you think all of this is going to end? But unfortunately, they will find out. So it's better you tell them the truth and control the narrative. But once the unadulterated truth comes to light, there is nothing stopping your father from unleashing his wrath. You know what? I can handle it. But I want you to back off. 
Sulusa is my wife. And it hurts me to see her as a maid. This is the only way I can protect her until I find the right time to set things right. <laughs> what a twist. So the future queen of this kingdom <laughs> is the lowest maid. <sighs> I see. <laughs> Salu what? Salusa, Salu. What about? Why is this stupid fool? Why is this? What's this idiot? Salusa! Salusa! Are you daft or something? I injure you. Sorry. I injure you. Sorry. sorry. Oh. Yeah. Now I come. I, I come. Shut up. Sh sh shut up. You disgust me. Shut up. Are you hurt? Can you walk? Oh, like a management. Okay. <laughs> sorry. 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 Oh. Oh. Sorry. Painfulness. Painfulness. <laughs> friend that he does not come to look for me again what i tell him i told raymond why he cannot see or be with you why you liar for him why what liar you liar to him to make him not to come he does not ask me he does not see me i told him the truth what that you're already married and you cannot be with him i marry i marry wife like this i wife no talks i wife you find trouble you find trouble because you say I am illiterating. That nothing will concern royals and common that they cannot do. Now Raymond comes. He say it's okay to dance with me. And now you tell lie. I marry, I slave in my husband's house. My husband does not show love. He does not do, he does not do anything. I marry. I told him the truth about everything that happened that day. I told him that I am your husband. You are not any banding. You and me cannot band any banding. I does not marry you. I single. You talk it. You talk it. You insulted me. You, you, you tell me that I and you cannot come togetherness. That the common and the royal cannot be together. That I, I... No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has. You look worried. Your Majesty, I am worried. You know, you told our son that he can actually sleep with the maid. If he is obsessed with her, go ahead to marry Mildred. But I, I don't see things in that light. Whatever he feels for that maid is beyond infatuation. I want you to understand that our son understands quite well that it's highly appropriate for him to marry a commoner. Your Majesty, our son is aware of all that. But when it comes to the matters of the heart, police, army, law court, even the highest judge cannot stop the man or woman who is in love. Oh, stop. You cannot defy the sacred tradition. There's no way he will fall for a minute. Initially, she wasn't his type or up to his status. But she's growing up to him. 
our son feels something deep for that for that girl. And it's a huge problem. It's all right. I don't want you to disturb your head over that. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Prince was only a child. I have seen things and I know one thing. That it never ends well to any maid who is so ambitious to dream about becoming a, a queen. Hmm. I think you should ask her directly. She is slow and not very good with English. Well, <clears throat> I will ask her a question because I am impatient and curious. So, Lusa, what is going on between you and the prince? Nothing go on. I does not do anything. What I do? Firstly, it was Prince Ramon that was madly in love with you. Mm. Now is the prince of our kingdom. Hmm? He even instructed the chief maid not to give you work too tedious for you. And you stand here to tell her there's nothing going on between both of you. Mm. Oh, please. Nothing go on. Nothing go on. It is just prince that is good man that take care of poor girl. Nothing go on. Anyway, all of you listen and listen good. The prince is like a son to me. I watched him grow like this and I take care of him. And he is never one who worry about mess or even take them to sleep on his bed. The one thing I'm sure of, there is something going on between both of you. But my worry is this. The royal household and Midred will never stand still to share you up. What she's trying to say is, your love with the prince is love impossible. Impossible. It can never, never happen. Um, big madam, I finish talk. I go, I go chamber. I finish, finish talk. talk. Go. Go where? See her. Look at where she goes. Shut your mouth. Go, she... go your places. <laughs> Daughter, where are you? Servant? Well, wife? Where? Servant clothes? Eh? Why? We were told that your husband is the next king of this kingdom. And you are the next queen of this kingdom. Then where are you wearing servant clothes? Why are you wearing servant clothes? Wife, oh, sweep, sweep, wife. I hide, sweep. I sweep. You hide what? Hey. Zuluza, Zuluza. Huh? You hide what? My my in-laws. Ah. Um, please come with me. I I, I can explain. Okay. Uh. Uh. Just, uh. Why are we going there? No 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 no. Did I hear you say husband, house, how, where? We are not confused in any way. I am the most educated person in my village. And I speak for them. Your son visited our village and he took advantage of our daughter here. The punishment for such misdemeanor is death or the offender will be forced to marry the person he had defiled. So in order not to die, he chose to marry our daughter. That was what happened. What is going on? Um, 
Oga. I mean elder. I know my son. The prince cannot do something dishonorable like that. But he did. He's a decent and noble young man. I believe there's a huge misunderstanding here. Oh, but that's still, your daughter lied to you all in order to trap a young stranger into marriage. Mm -mm. No, Queen. I does not lie, lie. Yes. But also, that does not talk how the thing happened. Okay? Okay, I run away from house. I run. I go to where I will see roof. And it rains. So the prince also come to the roof because of rain. And we stay. Later, they come. They see two of us. They say that we do what man and woman does when they close door. But did you do it? We does not do anything. So what are you talking about? And they, they brings knife, they brings gun, everything, and makes him to marry me. What? They threaten my son's life? This will never hold. This is a charade, as far as I'm concerned. And it can never be. This is null and void. I am a king, and things like this doesn't happen before me. You cannot reject what the gods have accepted and blessed. You are the king. No, no one is doubting it, but you are not the gods. Listen to me. The king is a servant of the gods. Though they are invisible, but they command the affairs of mankind through kings. King Ward is another. He cannot genuflate the conscience of my son and force him to go through the lines of the tradition. As a king, I proceed over my son's marriage as an heir. It is a taboo for the prince of Salusha to have an unroyal marriage. Whatever that brought you here is already kissing the sound. Excuse me? You threatened my son, sir. This idiot, henceforth, is no longer a maid in this palace. She is not even a guest. So she should not be allowed to go near any member of my family or any royal. She should be considered and regarded as an enemy to the royal house. My queen, I will do as you orders. To lose are you a poison? Who has corrupted everything around you? You have taken the peace of this royal house. Me as a queen, I've always known there's something evil, something cynical about you. Wicked idiot. Queen, sorry. Sorry. I does not know what happened to me. Now, I, I, I suffer forced marriage again. Really? <laughs> you were not the one that was threatened to kill. Yet you made your decision. You considered marrying my son a suffering. I will show you what suffering is all about. Thank the gods my husband has said, my son will not marry you. Neither will you be the queen of this kingdom. Go get me her rickety bags. Those are my silly things. Let me send her out of this palace. So you are leaving now. I you... go. No, come and stay on my head. Get out from here. Your Choose. majesty. <laughs> Midred has woken up. Are you serious? Yes, she's in a very bad state of mind. I'll go and see her. But the physician says she will be fit. I'll go and see her. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. you son of the kingdom, you are resisting my orders. You are the king of your community and I am the leader of my own community. You are the king of your kingdom. But you cannot and you don't have the right to pretend 
over my kingdom, which I am the leader. You people threatened my son's life. I consider that Salusa saved my life with her orthodox medicine. But if you keep insisting on this marriage, I will fan for war. Do you think we are afraid of war? We are not afraid of war. In our tradition, a girl marries only once. And once she is married with a spouse, no one suppresses it because we hold marriage as sacred. This marriage has been done between your son and our daughter. And nobody will separate it because the body, the two bodies have come together to become one. And our tradition recognizes it to be so. You cannot separate it. I cannot separate it. I will do that. You cannot. I will separate it. I do not acknowledge your gods. As a king, my son is bound by duty to marry whoever I want him to marry. How many warriors do you have? I am sure not as much as I have. At this point, I am forced to brag about the strength and powers of my warriors. I have kings from other kingdoms in alliance that are ready to release their warriors to fight for me if war is an option. Now I am asking you, is the life of that one girl worth the millions of lives that will be lost as a cause of this battle? I am asking you. Hey, mind you, war is not fought in a sitting room. When the time comes, we shall know the stronger kingdom. I am so... You do not understand what I am talking about. I understand you very, very well. But I have made my point. War is not fought in a sitting room. When the time comes, we know the kingdom that is superior. I am sure you don't understand what I mean. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. What you, King, talk? It is war, or we walk out of the marriage. I does not want war. I does not want people die, die, war, war, killing, killing, killing because I marriage. Please, I leave everything. Daughter, no marriage here, no marriage again. Hmm. I stay. Huh? No marriage here, no marriage again. I stay, only me, till I die. No war. My daughter, I thank you. I salute you for your selflessness. This kingdom has turned their back on a rare gem like you. One day they are going to regret all that they have done. Two of you should get ready. First thing tomorrow morning, we're out of here. We go. Yes. Tomorrow, we, we go. go. Zuja, Zuja, Zuja. My daughter. I go. Tomorrow, I leave, I go. Very earliest, I go. I does not stay here again. Where are you going when this is your home? King refuse. King say no marriage. King scatter marriage. King say anybody try marriage, bring problem. What I stay for, I go. Does my love mean anything to you? Huh? Do I mean anything to you? Why are you thinking about everyone else but me? Now let me tell you, a wife does not live without a husband. You stay because future you become king. You cannot leave your people go. And you know not want this marriage. Why you beg? 
Why you beg I stay? Because I'm in love with you. Who is she? Who is she? I think the gods blessed me the day I was forced to marry you. Shalsa, I cannot live without you. If you insist on going, I will go with you. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> serious? Why can't she be my wife? Because the tradition has been there for ages. We can't change it overnight. It took a king to make that tradition. It will take another to change it. Father, I may be a king, but to rule, I was hoping you would be the king that would change that discriminatory tradition and allow love reign in your kingdom, irrespective of class and status. Have you lost it? What has come over you, Michael? What do you mean, I may be king? Are you considering to abandon the, 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 the throne? That will depend on what his majesty's decision will be. How do I say this to you? That Selusa can only be married once. She cannot marry another man and will live her entire life without a husband. She will be tortured, abused and mocked because of a tradition and law. That forces a girl into marriage with a stranger just because she shared her roof unknowingly with him. And why do you worry if she stays alone forever? If that is her fate, do you think you can fight it? That cannot be her fate when she's married to me. <laughs> Your Majesty, marriage is a thing of the heart and agreement. I agreed and exchange vows with Selusa. The gods are set in. So why fight against it? Did you hear that? He is threatening to abandon the throne of my fathers because I've refused to make change of the sacred cradle of Chalucha Ghetto. What does this throne and the people of Chalucha mean to you? I'm asking you. If my well-being means anything to his majesty, he will reconsider my request or I will leave everything and live as a common man with my wife. Mikey wouldn't dare. Look at my face. I am the tyrant that will come after you. Stupid. Don't dare me, Mama. If you say, listen to me, if you say any more word here, you'll be responsible for what will happen Father, to you. Father, I will give it all up for my wife. Majesty. Excuse me, Mike? Is it crazy? Is that you? I am going to take it hard with it. Suicide, suicide. Suicide, suicide. Suicide, I go. Now, I go find out. Cannot be the reason man treats another woman bad. I go. This man standing here has made a decision. I am in love with you. And my throne is not complete without you. So, do not push me thus far with this threat of foolishness. Return to your duty as a prince and the heir to the throne. Your Majesty, kill me if you must. Because if my wife leaves, I leave. Only death can stop me. But if you know you're not going to kill me, 
then nothing can stop me. Mm -hmm. Mama, just, just let him be. Your Majesty, let the girl stay. You don't have to make her a queen. But let her stay. Mom. Can you calm down? So that we don't lose our son. He is not just our son. He is the heir apparent to the throne. Let go of your anger and pride. And consider this. A man who is in love is blind. He's deaf. And he's dumb. Right now, this man standing here is handicapped and physically challenged because of love. Let him. I beg you. Well, the girl stays, but my stand of this marriage remains the same. I retire to my room. Mother, mm -hmm. there is nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. I, her husband, is here to protect her. Mm -hmm. I promise you she's not going to work as a maid mm -hmm. and I will give her all the respect she deserves. Mm -hmm. Son, I'm sorry the way we treated you. No man, especially not a future king, we accept our daughter. You have a good heart. And may the gods make you succeed. Thank you. Mouthpiece of Budubu Kingdom. Love holds no grudges. I love your daughter so much. I will fight for her dignity and rights. I will make her queen and see to it that she rules beside me. To lose her so far. Hey! She's so far. Oh, hmm? But now, the gods give her enjoyment. Hmm? Make her enjoyment, please, eh? Kia. Hmm? Kia. Uh, mother, there's nothing to worry about. I will take care of her. Here. This is for you. Huh? 500,000 naira and some jewelries. <gasps> oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your Majesty, I am sorry. I will not be wrong to punish the, the prince for rebelling against you before your subjects. Uh, when you already looked uh, scared and uh, I saw tears gathering in your eyes, the moment I, I had to melt down. I fear for our son. He is our only child. How can we manage without a son at this our age? He is the heir apparent to the throne. Your Majesty, in your infinite wisdom, I know you. You put this kingdom their interests first before every other thing. Thank you for restoring peace and order. What are you thinking? Your Majesty. I know, Your Majesty, 
your infinite wisdom. I know you want to break the royal engagement before the council of elders and chiefs. So that we don't lose our son totally. So that he doesn't consider abandoning his position as a prince, as the next queen of this kingdom. Even if I break the royal engagement to make our son a king, a king needs a queen. Are you saying I should uh, bless the maid? Mildred, what are you doing here? Your Highness? <laughs> Nothing really, I just... Um... Came to share a drink with you, my friend. Yes, you heard me. Just friends and not um, friends, okay? Um, Your Highness, listen. I know that you are in love with Seleuza, right? And you see her as your wife already. Sincerely, I can't fight love. I can't fight your heart. Before I, I fight self, I will have lost. <laughs> so, you know. Wow. Well, um, I just want to say um, you did not deserve what happened to you. I, I'm sorry I could not summon the courage to tell you. <laughs> I kept you engaged knowing I cannot marry you. Hey, come on, your highness. Don't be too hard on yourself. Why? <laughs> See, we all are victims of circumstances, right? So we should not blame ourselves too much for anything. Life is not fair. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this Mildred talking right now? Of course. Is there somebody else here? It's Mildred. I cannot believe you can be big hearted like this. Oh, I can be anything. <laughs> Your Highness, please. It's, 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 it's nothing, sincerely. I can be anything, yeah. So, if you know that we can still be friends, let us share a drink together. Just friends, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to just pop this wine right before you and then we cheers too. You really friends. surprised me. Ah ha ha! I'm full of surprises. I'm mid right. <laughs> yeah. Stay here. Mm -hmm. I hope the alcohol is not too much. No, it's not uh, at all. I think you have to turn it the other way. Oh, really? Yeah. You see? Okay. Go off. Stay here. Aha. 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 I feel I learned well from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So it's off finally. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. So I pour for myself too. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, so what are we choosing to? We're choosing to good friendship, close friendship. <laughs> In a cackles, cackles. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Very tasty. Love it. It's nice. I, I know like what it. you like. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> That's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I know you love it. <laughs> Your Highness? It's very strong. Uh, no, no, it's not alcohol. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, Is it okay? Mm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is 
<laughs> I can see you love it. Uh -huh. Your Highness? <laughs> I... You okay? I don't know, I'm just... What kind of sleep? Maybe you're tired, right? Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Majesty, the prince took advantage of me. What? What? I, my mother. Don't murder me. Just stop. Shut your mouth. You threw a fit of not wanting to marry Mildred. Get to sleep with her. Took advantage of her. That is an abomination. That is heinous. So, so wait, you're. you're you say we had sex? No, 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 no. You betrayed her. We made love, Your Highness. We made love? Yes, I, I, you, you, Mother, you, I don't remember. The very first time your father had, had sex with me, he didn't remember. Like father, like son, like son, like father. I don't remember what she's saying. It's something. Your Highness, it, your Majesty, he wasn't saying that he loves me so much and then there has been on, under a spell of this wife. What? <laughs> Are you, are you not angry? You're not angry seeing me in this compromising position with with her. I do something. Okay. Something for something. Nothing for nothing. You talk. I trust. I get you tea. Lie. Lie. Be ashamed of yourself. They said lie, lie. Mother, mother, I, did, I did not do anything. I promise you. Why, 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 why are you doing this? Doing what? I thought you said you wanted us to be friends. And then you took advantage. You are evil. How? Mother, she's evil. Is that what you are? Get out of my room. Evil. We use us. You get out. Get out. Yes. Stay where. You dread. Stay where. Get out. Get, get out of my room. Nonsense. Get out. I don't want to marry her yet. You enjoyed it. I did not enjoy it. Mother, I did not do anything. I it has come to my knowledge that you slept with Midred last night. This has complicated the breaking of the royal engagement, as it were. Um, I, I don't remember anything about last night. Really? That you did it? Mother, the only thing I remember is Mildred here coming to my room and we had a friendly toast and accepting that I am in love with Seleucia here. Anything after that, I don't remember. She's the only one that remembers. But you did it. The bottom line is that you did something with her, right? So, let me tell you something. The storm that characterized our decision between you and Midred died away last night. Our decision was only a tempest to the teapot. She came here a virgin. If we must send her back to her parents, she must go as a virgin. Simple. She told us that you slept with her last night. You have left me with no option but to ask you to marry her. That's my word. Your Majesty, um, I cannot be punished for something I don't remember. Moreover, I am, I am, Mother, I am already married to Solusa here. I, I cannot marry Mildred. Excuse me? Is, is, is a marriage with a maid consummated? Yes. I, I, as we speak, I, I believe she has my baby inside of her. I took that drink from you because I trusted you. 
I never knew you would take advantage of that trust and use my body for your deceitful and despicable act. How could you? Your Highness? How? How can you just sign me off for 10 months and wake up one day to say you're done with the engagement? That is wickedness, Your Highness. Do you know how degrading that is? People now say that you're leaving me for a maid. Just a maid. I tend to walk around the kingdom bearing my head in shame. You acknowledged that we are both victims of circumstances. So why are you being vengeful? Because we all are victims, but the other person tends to be happy. This victimization favors one person while the other person is soft. Tell the king to call off the wedding. I know you drugged me and took advantage of my body. Your Highness, such accusations grave one adapt. Do you have proof? I don't. But we cannot make things messier than it already is. Walk away, Mildred. And I hope you find happiness. Because I have found mine. Come on, Your Highness. My happiness is with you. Being your wife, ruling as the queen of this kingdom, is my happiness. And where can I find this happiness? This palace, of course. Brace up, your highness. I'm not going anywhere. You know why? Because this is home, your highness. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has. She's the girl of my dreams Ooh, no matter what I will make her mine She's the girl I She's the girl I want to make her mine Just because the prince is temporarily insane thinking he's in love with you does not give you the right to walk up to me in my lonely time to disturb me, are you mad? I thank God, Prince talk, I does not ask question, I believe. Now I ask, why you do what you do? Because the drink, the tea you give Prince, I check, I test. Now I see you put one medicine, we call Mende Mende. When the man that you take, he kill you small inside, you take, he kill you small inside, you sleep, you die. We call sleep and die. Why you do? Why you do? Talks, why you do? <laughs> it's something wrong with you. Such grave accusations. How can you prove it? I proves. Because I keep small. Yes, I see up, you remain, I keep. I take to king and I open your anus. <laughs> Please, I'm very sorry. Allow me to laugh a little. It's been a long time I actually had such a laugh. Are you serious right now? You want to go to who? The king. And do what? Talk gibberish. And do you think he's going to listen to you? I ask you. The sight of you disgust the king already. So do you think he will, he will just see you as someone trying to come discredit me for being the intending queen of this kingdom? So please, shoot, get up. Okay, now you smart. Now you think you smart. 
I talked to king. King does not believe. You think you're smart? No problem. I does not talk to king. But I won. I won. I won. Because I, I cannot know you like man, you want to marry man, you want to kill man. You kill man who you marry. You try, put that again, I, I kill. You try, I kill. I does not need king. I kill you myself. You look worrisome. Your Majesty, we declared that the princess to marry Mildred. When you and I know that he considers Lucy as his first wife, is he going to marry her again as regards to royal rights and traditions? I do not know what to make of that maid. But I'm hopeful that uh, her grip over her son will lose at the end. For Mildred to share a bed with the prince by something we do not know. Your Majesty, what if Mildred skimmed her way into the prince's bed? Because the hate I saw on his face does not show a man that has feelings for a woman. Are you saying that Mildred must have done something for us to make our son marry her? Your Majesty, I don't have any proof. That my, my aunt tells me so. But what worries me the most is are we going to have two queens in this palace? One that is approved by His Majesty the King and one that is loved by His Highness the Prince. There is only one true queen ruling beside the king. Your Majesty, you are going to find answers and solutions to this problem before there is anarchy. Have your prayer. Father, I was told you were in a long meeting with the Council of Chiefs. I was. It wasn't an easy road trying to convince them on the long-standing tradition on noble-to-noble -noble marriage to be amended. But at the end, I succeeded. I know His Majesty and His infinite mercy will be able to convince and persuade them. <laughs> I wouldn't say that we're convinced and uh, persuaded. I would say they pretended to be a compromise. You know, it's dangerous to argue with a king who is in possession of the last world. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for me. You have made me the happiest son alive. So, we will proceed with a proper wedding. Sure. The one that does not involve cohesion or threat between you and solution, but on one condition. What condition, Father? You will get married to Mildred. Keep her as your queen ruling beside you for political purposes. And keep Solusa as your true love. Father, you are asking me to do something you never did. Would you marry another woman beside Mother? Why would I? I love your mother. She's all access in love. She understands the politics of the palace. Your love with Solusa is an embarrassment. She does not know how to speak. Neither does she understand the politics of the palace or its etiquette. I will not accept this condition, Father. I will make Solusa fit for all purposes and make her my queen. And she will rule beside me. Your Majesty. Your Highness, 
You look so thin. I know something bothers you. What is it? You know me too well. I want you to tell me if my decision of a life partner or queen is wrong. As someone who considers you, Hassan, I am glad you decided to choose the path of love and happiness. I know too well that you can never marry to Midred. And I'm happy you've, you found love. Solusa is a selfless and purest heart. She has this selfless and purest heart. And I know she will become a very good queen someday. Yes. Which is why I have come to you for this favor. Consider it a favor from a son to a mother and not from a prince or a future king. Sulusa has to know everything about royal politics, royalty and rules as a queen. It doesn't matter if she finds it rigorous, but push her, kick her until she is considered fit for the position of a queen. Can you do your son this favor? I cannot tell you no, my child. I will help you train her. Especially, I will make the whole world, everyone, to know that she is chosen by the gods, ruling by your side. Thank you. But please, keep this between us. Son, you don't have a problem. Okay. It's a promise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Your Majesties, isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. She's a beehive of beauty. <laughs> well, um, kings don't apologize. However, Whatever I must have done to you in the past is coming from protecting our tradition and what the king thinks best. Thank you very much for loving our son and looking after his well-being. Since you came into the palace, we have experienced a lot of joy and happiness. Thank you, king. Um, I'd like to say that I appreciate everything, the acceptance, the love, your unconditional love and your motherly care. Thank you so much. Silusa, thank you for uncovering all the wicked herbs Nidred has been preparing. And thank you for calling the attention of the royal physician to it. Thank you for giving him the tea, the miracle tea that cleanses him from every side effect. Thank you so much. I am sorry for everything. Can I call you my daughter now? You are my mother and my queen. Ow! <laughs> did you observe she now speaks well? What is surprise? What's going on? He yes. got me a tutor. Mm -hmm. I've been training for some months now yeah. on how to make a proper sentence. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I have improved drastically in my spoken words. All thanks to my handsome husband. Oh my goodness. She's so intelligent. <laughs> oh, thank God they didn't give up on her. No, <laughs> no, I can't can do that. Uh, no, leave that for my pleasure. Ah. So, the moment we have been waiting for. <laughs> it shall be well with you. He said. As you are my successor, you shall have successors. He said. You will prosper in all your endeavors. He said. You will increase. <laughs> Sorry, 